the grace that when all of us will go down and come back up, amen. Are you ready? So let's go. Are you ready? Some people did not go down. Your number is not going down. Say, Trevor, go down. I don't know what you're not giving me. 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 We call you. I don't know what you're not giving me. I don't know what you're not giving me. That's it. Are you ready for another level? Yes. I am not satisfied with your dance. Come on! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! To the Lord in the highest. Come on. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Amen. Shouted. Let's change this song. Come on, give me a dance. Come on, wherever we're, give me a dance. Come on. Lord, we lift you up. Lord, we lift you up. We lift you up for all the world. To see, Lord, we lift you up, we lift you up for all eternity. Here we go, say, Lord, lift you up, lift you up. Here we go, say, Lord, sing it again, say, Lord, yeah, we lift you up, we lift you up for all.
Cap your hands, all you people, come on. Yeah. We do a shout. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't want the up here, I'm up here, I'm up here, I'm up here, I'm Come on, lift your hands to heaven. This God is so good. Lift your hands and bless the name of the Lord. You're worthy. Full and kind, faithful and gracious, and the apple of his eyes, the thought that feels his heart every morning, noon, and night. He loved me when I didn't care, was patient till I came. Running back into his arms oh, Look how he turned my life around Make me a shining star His glory to reveal I will Let your hands heaven I know a God saying with me. I know a God. Say those words. Who is merciful and kind? Full and kind. Is faithful. Faithful and gracious. Say those words. I'm the apple of His eye. Say. And we have a love you right the thought that feels his heart Every morning or the night He loved me when I didn't care And was patient till Was patient till I Running back into his arms Yes, my love to you, Lord, because this God is 
Give him God is so good. Give him praise this morning, exalt him. Exalt our mighty Father. Give him praise. He's a good God. He's a faithful Father. He's a loving God. He's a merciful Father. Give him thanks this morning. Give him thanks for his unfailing love towards you. Exalt him. Exalt him. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise this morning. Lord, we exalt you. We give you thanks. Your unfailing love towards us. The never ceases. We thank you, Jesus, because of your faithfulness. Thank you, Jesus, because of your mercy. Lord, we are grateful, Lord. We are grateful for the things that you have done for us. We exalt you. We exalt you. We lift you high, our Father. Blessed be your holy name. Father, I give you thanks. I praise you, my Father. Be exalted, Lord. Exalt your Father. Give him thanks. If he has been good to you, say thank you, Jesus. If he has been great to you, thank him. Give him praise. Lord, we give you thanks. Father, we give you praise. The book of Psalm 63, verse 3 to 5 from NLT says, Your unfailing love is better than life itself. How I, I praise you. I will praise you as long as I live. Lifting up my hands to you in prayer. You satisfy me more than the richest, richest feast. I will praise you with songs of joy. If that is your testimony this morning, can you say thank you, Jesus? I will praise you for the rest of my life. Uh, as long as I'm alive, as long as I'm breathing, I'm going to give you praise. Father, we thank you for your unfailing love. We exalt you. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Hallelujah. I'm still in the attitude of prayer. We're going to pray for our nation, Nigeria, this morning. Uh, we're going to pray from the book of Psalms, chapter 75, verse 10. Psalms 75, verse 10. It says, For God says, I will break the strength of the wicked, but I will increase the power of the godly. I want you to lift up your voice this morning and lift our nation to Nigeria that let godliness reign in our nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, can you begin to pray that God will increase the power of the godly in this nation and it will break the strength of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you begin to pray and declare over Nigeria that righteousness is going to exalt this nation in every sector of our nation, the political scene, the business scene, the religious scene, that godliness is going to be enthroned in our nation in the mighty name of Jesus. According to the word of God, it's going to break the strength of the wicked in the name of Jesus. That righteousness we exalt our nation in the name of Jesus. It would increase the power of the godly in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you thanks. We exhort you, Father, for in the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. And I want you to say prayer for yourself this morning, that God, as I've come to worship and praise you this morning, I want to see you in a new way. I want to see a different dimension of you this morning. Can you begin to pray and ask God that you will see him. Your eyes will be opened. Your ears will be opened. Your hearts will be opened in the mighty name of Jesus. That God, as I dance and praise in your presence this morning, I will see you in a new way. I will see another side of you in the name of Jesus. My eyes will be opened. My heart will be opened in the mighty name of Jesus. I begin to hear things. I begin to hear your voice directly in the name of Jesus. My inner eyes begin to open in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanks. We exalt you, Lord. For in the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to welcome your neighbor to church this morning. Welcome like five people this morning before you, before you sit down. I want you to appreciate them. People are looking very nice this morning. I can see different head ties and gele and all of that. If somebody is wearing gele beside you, just welcome the person. Uh, just appreciate the person. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And also, I want us to welcome our online church. Please, let's welcome our online church. Those worshiping with us from all over the globe, we welcome you to this powerful service. It is our raw, authentic worthy praise service hallelujah is somebody excited this morning 
Hallelujah. We welcome you and we want you to stay focused. When it's time for us to dance, wherever you are, I want to encourage you to stand up and dance. Hallelujah. And um, if you have any question for our officials, um, they are on, in the chat room and they will be able to answer you. Hallelujah. To take us further into the service, we're going to watch a video testimony after that video announcement. Praise the Lord. On the 8th of March was my birthday and I woke up with 000 account balance. My pastor called me to wish me happy birthday and he sent me something for cake. A few of my friends called and then something was sent into my account for cake. And um, as God will have it, we had fun on that day. A friend of mine slided into my DM to wish me happy birthday. A uh, few hours down the line, I checked my phone again and I saw his messages ranting, shouting that I told you to go to Lucky One to check a job, but um, you did not go. I told him, guy, you are talking to the wrong person and we laughed over it. But I jumped on it and I told him that, guy, this thing that you are looking for somebody to achieve for you, I can do it. I'm a studio person. I can do studio integration. And he said, okay, we laughed over it and that was it. On Monday morning, I checked my phone. I went on Instagram. I saw his message, him asking for my number. But I have his number. What I did was to just call him immediately. And I told him that, guy, here I am. What do you need me for? He said, okay, go to this place in Lucky One. You will meet this person and sell yourself to him. Immediately, I went to Lucky One. I met with this young man and he said, okay, can you do this? I said, yes, he took me to the studio. I checked the room. He said, okay, what he wants to do is to turn this place into a virtual studio. There and there, he asked for a budget. I gave him a budget. He looked through it and he said, okay, I'm going to pay you 90% of, of the money. There and there, he asked for my account number. Before I could say Jack Robinson, I got the alert. Huge amount of money. And he asked, when am I going to start the job? I told him, I have started already. He asked, when am I going to deliver? I told him, give me two to three days. I delivered the job in two days. He came to the site and he was impressed. He gave me another job. He paid me my balance. He paid me this one 100%. I delivered the job in two to three days. He came to the site again, he checked, he was impressed, he gave me another one, I delivered the job in two to three days. In a week, I delivered the, his job and he was happy. I want to give glory to God. On the 8th, I was with zero zero account balance and now my account was running millions. I want to give glory to God because God met me at my point of need. He blessed me beyond my imagination. Welcome to our Thanksgiving service. A very special welcome if this is your first time at the Elevation Church. We're so excited you could join us and we thank everyone who invited someone to church. Please don't rush off after this service. We have a short work or reception just for you. We also have a fun and safe junior church facility for your kids and a vibrant teens church which are just outside this auditorium. You can speak to any of our officials if you need directions. Do join us this Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. for our midweek event switch. We continue talking about the blessed life. Don't miss this time of enlightening and do invite someone. Our quarterly online prayer meetings continue tomorrow through to Saturday from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. It's a good way to start this new quarter of the year and we encourage you to join us. The webinar links will be shared via emails and SMS. We do encourage you to share with your friends and loved ones. Do not miss this refreshing time of prayers and testimonies. If you're a job seeker or looking to change career path, Please do not miss this year's career fair and mentoring section happening this Saturday the 13th of April here at the Pistis Conference Center. The theme this year is Fit for Future and it starts at 10 a.m. and ends at 3 p.m. Some of the highlights of this event will be the opportunity to engage recruiters and organizations and some participants may be interviewed for available jobs by some companies as they require. Register for free today at elevationng.org forward slash career fair and share this information with anyone who needs it. Do not miss this grand opportunity. The mission trip to Casina tagged Operation Joshua Missions Outreach is still open for registration. It starts from Wednesday the 17th of April to Tuesday the 23rd of April and all interested persons and missionaries or anyone willing to sponsor another can still register after this service at the mission's desk right outside this auditorium. Details about the cost and logistics will be communicated at the desk. Be assured that even if you've never been on a mission trip, couple officials will hold a proper orientation for you before departure. It's an experience you're likely to forget. For further inquiries, you can send an email to missions at elevationng.org. 
Easter celebration is upon us and the teenagers will be having their annual Teens Nation Easter timeout. It's an opportunity for them to relax, have fun and bond with their friends in a safe environment. The date is Saturday the 20th of April and time is 10 a.m. and it's happening right here at the Pieces Conference Center. So parents do not hold your teenagers back and let them experience this super fun time with their peers. In addition to the games and activities lined up, there will be breakout sections to discuss issues that affect teenagers today. Registration is necessary for adequate planning and comes at the rate of just 2,000 Naira. This will cover meals, games and other fun activities. There are limited spaces available, so register after this service. For other inquiries, you can visit the Teen Station tent. Do not miss this event happening at the Elevation Church this Easter. First, there will be an Easter production titled More Than Yesterday, which will hold on Sunday the 21st of April in all our services. This is a moment to share with your family, friends and loved ones and show them the true meaning of Easter. So do not miss it. Then the following day will be our food and fun family fair tagged Taste of our tribes. And it's a day we get to experience sumptuous delicacies from across the country and have fun activities like daddy's cook-off, junior chef, movie time and lots of games for everyone. Do not let this memorable day pass you by. Tickets are now available at 1,000 naira per adult and 500 naira per child. So get yours right after this service. Also, if you'd like to partner with us or sponsor the event, please meet with our reps at the Taste of Our Tribe stand outside this auditorium. Thank you and see you there. Panel group meetings hold today across the island. Find a group of friends that you can do life with and you won't regret it. If you aren't part of one, please visit elevationng.org forward slash connect group to sign up. If you would like to host a connect group in any of these areas displayed on the screen, please sign up at the information stand right after this service. For this week, stay connected with us on social media at Elevation NG and read inspiring blog posts on elevationng.org forward slash blog. Do I enjoy the rest of the service and have a testimony filled week? Hallelujah! Come on, if you're putting your hands together, I think it's okay to put your hands together for the Lord and exalt his name. This is the first Sunday in the second quarter of 2019. How many people agree that we have a lot to be grateful for? To the Lord, for his goodness, for his mercy, for his greatness, for his exceeding great love towards us. We give him all the praise. It's our Thanksgiving Sunday at the Elevation Church and we are putting a stink, a stick in the sand with a raw praise service to lift up our praise and send it ahead of us into the second quarter. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, Minister Mike Abdul is in the building. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the Lord God Most High is here to receive your raw, authentic, worthy praise this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's not a morning for long conversations. So I just bring a very short exhortation. But just before we go into that, can I say a prayer with anyone who has a birthday in the month of um, April? All the April celebrants in the room this morning. Hallelujah. Can you rise up on your feet? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord is worthy to be praised. If you're sitting around an April celebrant, can you turn to them and ask them, when is rice and stew happening? I'm inviting myself. <laughs> hallelujah. The Bible says to rejoice with them that rejoice and we rejoice with you this morning. Let's say a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for these many men and women who are celebrating a new anniversary, a new season in their lives in the month of April. We thank you, God, for blessing our world. Indeed, you gave them as gifts 
not only to our world, but to the Elevation Church. And this morning, as a congregation, Lord, we lift our voices and we say thank you. Thank you for the anniversary of their birth. Thank you for this new season that they are entering into. We declare concerning them, Lord, that as they enter into a fresh new year, lines are falling for them in pleasant places. We declare concerning you that you will live in well-watered gardens. We declare concerning you that you will enjoy the goodness of God in the land of the living. We declare concerning you that you are the blessed of the Lord and you will enjoy of the fullness of his presence. Father, we thank you because all this year, Father, they will be able to reference you as the God of their journey and the God of their testimony. We give you praise and we give you glory. And for every other reason, Lord, why your people are here in this service today, rejoicing, giving you praise, celebrating your goodness, we ask, Father, that your hand will continually rest upon your people and praise will continually rise to you. In Jesus' mighty name. Please go ahead and have your seats. Happy birthday. Hallelujah. And how many people loved Brother Lincoln's testimony? He woke up. Hallelujah. He woke up on the 8th of March with zero. Did you see that? How many people saw that zero in his account? On his birthday for that matter. But by delivering consistently... How many people did not miss that part of the testimony? Because you may leave this room thinking that, okay, he came and God was just blessing him. Yafu, yafu. Plenty, plenty blessing. But you may have missed the part of the testimony where they gave him two to three days to deliver on a job and he delivered it in two days. Not only that, the person who gave him the job was very pleased with what he had delivered. You see, in this season, you will live the blessed life. And it will not just be because of a whim. It will be, be because you are leveraging on the covenant that distinguishes you, that causes you to excel. You will not deliver on a work just because you know the person or you know the owner. You will deliver on the job because an excellent spirit is within you and the Lord will honor you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. This morning we're discussing on the topic, praise your way to victory. Can you preach that for me this morning? Turn to the person on your left, the person on your right. Say, praise your way to victory. You know, and as we journey on through this second quarter of 2019, I want someone in the room to be very mindful of the fact that the Lord your God has already gone ahead of you. Amen. God has already gone ahead of you. God, the Bible says, knows the end of a thing before the beginning has even started. So about whether or not the Lord your God has gone ahead of you in 2019, that is not in doubt. Amen. But there is a dimension to entering into the fullness of what God has prepared for you that will come on the wings of your praise. Hallelujah. Can someone say, my praise is ushering me into victory. Amen. Let's read together from Psalm 149. Psalm 149, a beautiful psalm. Um, Nine verses, but all very powerful. Do we have it displayed on the screen yet? Beautiful. Can we read it together with a loud, thunderous voice? Amen. Emphasis on loud and thunderous. One, two, let's go. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song and his praise in the assembly of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name with the dance. Let them sing praises to him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the humble with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud on their beds. 
Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance on the nations and punishments on the peoples, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. And the last verse, to execute on them the written judgment. This honor have all his saints. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want this psalm to be our watchword as we go through this second quarter. Because there are great and mighty victories that the Lord our God has already prepared for us. But how many people know that sometimes as you journey along the way, there will be all sorts of issues that try to militate against your praise. Amen. I mean, maybe someone even this morning coming to church there may have been something that tried to get in the way of your praise or to get in the way of your worship to God this morning. But there's something about keeping your eyes on the word that says the Lord your God has already effected vengeance on your behalf. Hallelujah. What is it that may be resisting your praise today? I mean, I reckon with the fact that we face resistant powers we face resistant forces. We face contending issues that try to distract us from the truth of God's word. That victory is our portion. Hallelujah. God's mind concerning us is victory. Second Corinthians chapter 2 says that God always leads us. Praise be to God who always leads us in triumphant procession. So he always leads us, the Bible says. So if the victory has not manifested yet, then there is room for you. Amen. There is room. If it's not yet victory, it's not yet over. Amen. If it's not yet victory, then it's not yet over. Because God is still doing a work and he's still working things together for your, for your good. Now, it's a little easier when we see, you know, like a physical force, you know, standing in our way. Perhaps you woke up this morning and maybe your neighbor began to act a little cantankerous this morning. It's a little easy to face that physical challenge and say, you know what, I'm not going to allow you to take my praise. But what happens when the resistant power is like a spirit of despair or, or discouragement or a sense of despondency. How do you face up to that resistant power and still declare the victory in the face of all of that? King David had a situation like that. The Bible tells us a story in 2 Samuel chapter 6. A number of us may be familiar with this passage of scripture, but I'll give you a little background. 2 Samuel chapter 6 describes a time in Israel where the Ark of God's Covenant, now the Ark of God's Covenant was what represented the presence of God in Israel. Amen. Now for a season, um, the Ark of God's Covenant had been captured by their enemies. Um, Israel had lived in disobedience for a while and the Ark of God's Covenant had been captured, taken away to the land of the Philistines how many of us remember that story? The Philistines put the Ark of God's Covenant in the house of their God. And the following morning, Dagon was flat on the ground. They thought maybe a breeze blew Dagon. Maybe, breeze, maybe Dagon was not balancing very well. They stood him back up. By the following morning, he was not only flat on the ground again, his arms were cut off, his head was cut off. That means the God that their enemies depended on, who was supposed to be their head and their leader, who was supposed to be their arm and their source of strength, was now headless, was now armless. Some of the things that they depended on, against the knowledge of God, against the wisdom of God, found themselves headless and armless. That will not be your portion. But eventually, the Ark of God's Covenant spent that time outside of Israel. And after a long time, almost 20 years, you'll find that story in 1 Samuel chapter 5, 6, 6, and 7. 
please read it when you get home. This morning we came to sing and dance and pray. So we're not going to do a lengthy Bible study. Amen. But you're going to read it when you get home, won't you? How many people are going to read it? You are committing under God this morning. Amen. Please read it when you get home. But here in 2 Samuel 6, this is after a long period, almost 20 plus years. David, King David was in Jerusalem and decided it's time to bring back the ark of God's covenant into the city of God. And so he arose with um, the singers and the dancers and they went to bring the ark of God's covenant. Let's read it from 2 Samuel chapter 6. Amen. Okay. So from verse 1. Again, David gathered all the choice men of Israel, 30,000. And David arose and went with all the people who were with him from Baal, Judah, to bring up from there the ark of God, whose name is called by the name, the Lord of hosts, who dwells between the cherubim. Like I said, the ark represented God's very presence. Amen? So it was time they felt to bring the ark of God's covenant back to Jerusalem. From verse 3. So they set the ark of God on a new cart and brought it out of the house of Abinadab, Abinadab, which was on the hill. And Uzzah and Ahio, the sons of Aminadab, drove the new cart. And they brought it out of the house of Abinadab, which was on the hill, accompanying the ark of God. And Ahio went before the ark. Then David and all the house of Israel played music before the Lord on all kinds of instruments of fair wood, on harps, on stringed instruments, on tambourines, on sistrums, and on cymbals. This just described that they were singing and dancing. And along the way, some of us know this story, along the way, the Bible says that the cart that they put the ark of God on stumbled and Uzzah put forward his hand to hold the ark from falling. And right there, God struck him dead. And David got so afraid, but we're trying to do a good thing. Say that with me this morning. We're trying to do a good thing. So why would this happen? David got so overcome with discouragement and, and, and at first he was angry and then he got afraid that, look, we don't, we don't even understand what's going on here. And he just packed the ark of God's covenant on one side and then went about his business. I know that some of us from year to date may have been engaged with doing what you felt was a good thing. I know you may have been engaged with some profiting or what some business that you hoped would be a profitable venture but along the way there was a bit of pain and there was a bit of struggle and because of what occurred in that place maybe there's a sense of despondency and a sense of despair that settled in can I assure you this morning that the much you know of God is not all there is to know of God can you say that with me this morning and personalize it as you say it? The much I know of God is not all there is to know of God. Indeed, the much your experience with God has shown is not the entirety of all that God is. Because this was not the end of the story. This point in time where they were trying to bring the ark into Jerusalem and it seems like something went wrong and David was a little discouraged and he put the ark somewhere. That was not the end of the story. Hallelujah. If you read further on in that chapter, you find that it was reported to David after three months that the house of Obededom is prospering. This same ark that you just packed aside, this same presence of God, that you got so scared and angry about and you just put it aside. It is a blessing in the house of Obededom. And I believe that something on the inside of King David just began to stir up once again. And something on his inside just began to remember again that the God I know, the God I serve, the one I love and the one I follow, he is a faithful God. And if I will be diligent to Pay attention to what he has said. And if I will praise him the way he requires, I will see his goodness and I will see his faithfulness. And as you read further on in the chapter, 2 
Samuel chapter 6, you find that this time, this time Israel did it right. The first time Israel put the ark of God's covenant on a cart pulled along by cows. How many of us know that that was not how God had instructed for the ark of God's covenant to be moved? God never intended us to carry his presence in carts, in, in things. God's presence was to be carried on the shoulders of the priests. And how many of us are a royal priesthood this morning? How many of you know that you know that you know that you are a royal priesthood, a holy nation? This morning, God wants you to carry his presence. Amen. Because you are his priest. Not just a priest. A royal priesthood. As we rise up and as we give God praise this morning. I want you to be fully assured. That the presence of God wants to tabernacle with you. Wants to go with you through the rest of 2019. The presence of the Lord wants to do you good. And the same way the presence of God in the house of Obed-Edom became a testimony. The presence of God in your heart, in your house, in your life, in your job, on your business, in your family, upon your children will be a testimony of praise and of glory in Jesus' mighty name. I mean, we sing that song all the time. I will dance like David danced. Don't we sing that? When the spirit of the Lord is upon my soul, this is the David dance. This is the dance of David that went down as a reference point for you and I. He recognized that one disappointment in the past should not color the praise and the glory that is yet ahead of me. Can I say that again to someone in this room? Just in case there might have been, some, might have been something in the past week or maybe in the past month or perhaps in the last quarter or year that seemed to be a source of discouragement to you. That disappointment will not be the sum total of what your experience with God will be or should be or can be. There is more for you in God. Amen? How many of you believe that there is more for you in God? There is so much more. And as we praise and as we dance excitedly this morning, I believe that someone in this room is experiencing something new, something fresh, something that's straight from God's heart to you this morning. I'm just going to read from verse 14 and 15. From verse 13, 14 and 15 of the same Second Samuel chapter 6. And so it was, when those bearing the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, that he, that's David, he sacrificed oxen and fatted sheep. Then David danced before the Lord with all his might. And I want you to say that this morning, but I want you to put your name in that verse. Is that okay? Is that okay this morning? Hallelujah. So let's read it together from verse 14. Then Bolarinwa danced before the Lord with all her might. Can we try it again? I see a few people are still trying to get themselves into the mode. Hallelujah. If your neighbor didn't see anything this morning, just nudge them a little and say, Pastor Bolan, why is talking to you? She's talking to you. She's talking to you. Amen. Can we read that together again? Verse 14. Then Bolarinwa danced before the Lord with all her might. Hallelujah. And it says here that David was wearing a linen effort that represented the priesthood. As you come before God's presence this morning, be fully persuaded that you are a priest, a holy priest unto your God. Because that is what the blood of Jesus won for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. As you come before the Lord this morning with singing and dancing and celebration, indeed the Lord my God will declare concerning you a word of blessedness. 
just in case you are trying to reconcile yourself again to that understanding, the Lord my God will declare concerning you this morning, this is my beloved son, this is my beloved daughter, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. How many of you are ready this morning to give the Lord some radical, authentic, worthy worship? How many of us are ready this morning to lift a voice of thanksgiving unto God? I don't know. Are you ready this morning to really give him praise like he deserves? Then I want you to welcome with me the anointed Minister Mike Abdul to lead us in a wonderful time of praise and glory unto the Lord our God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, somebody scream. See, eh? Something's happening right here. As children of God, we have a victory practice of calling those things that are not like they were. That is why it is said of our kind. And they overcame by the blood of a lamb and by the word of their testimonies. Listen, the Bible says that because we love the word of God, we are like a tree planted by the side of the river. It says that we bear fruit in our season and our leaves, they do not wither. Finally, it says that in all that we do, we prosper. Oh yeah, go and meet 10 people, announce to them, I prosper, I prosper, 10 I people. Prosper. Tell them, tell them. I will call upon this God. I will call upon the Lord. I will call upon the Lord. Oh. I will call upon the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? Who is worthy to be praised? Who is worthy to be praised? So shall I be saved from my hand The Lord, the Lord Let me be whole Let the rock of my salvation be Nobody helps you light the moon. You are the author and the builder. 
You are the world that brings to life. I'm a mama, see, I'm a see, oh. What you do is good. Alpha and Omega. Salaba V, always out. Where that day, where that day. After you is you. Mighty God, so true. After you. No alternative. No alternative. After you is you. Mighty God, so true. After you, now you. No alternative. After you is you. Mighty God, so true. After you, now you. No alternative. After you is you. Mighty God, so true. You said the word, you made a way, and everything is good. You're good enough for me. Hallelujah, boy. Your name is all I need to say, and every chain will break. You're good enough for me. Hallelujah, boy. Your word is true. I we my you're so true, oh, you're so true. Your word is true. I we my oh, yeah, yeah. You're so true, hey, you're so true. Everybody say, Your word is true. I we my oh, you're so true, you're so true. You're so true, you're so true. Your word is true, your word is true. so true after you nobody helped you build the sun nobody helped you light the moon you are the author and the builder you are the world that brings to life what you do is good Alpha and Omega always out where them day, where them day After you is you Mighty God so true After you No alternative No alternative After you is you Mighty God so true After you now you No alternative After you is you Mighty God so true after you, not you. I never see any God alive. I never see any God alive. I never. I never see any God alive. I never. I never see any God alive. 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 Are you ready? They look, Mba. Is it working? If I say, is it working? Hey! Okay. Oh my God. Thank you for today. Thank you for this day. Thank you for your grace. Oh, back at the back of the tea as you are doing, oh, 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 o
fireplace, oh. Oh, when the meat and candle go for the door, all around me, my comfort, oh, oh, oh. Money, the money, the money, the house, oh. Everyone, celebration, everyone. Oh, yeah, greet your neighbor, 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 greet Yes, sir, yes, sir. Step into glory. Step into grace. Step into favor. In the name of Jesus. Step in grace. Step in faith. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, my blessings. Oh, God bless. Step on the enemy. Step on the enemy. Step on the enemy. Last one. Step on the. Step on the enemy. Step on the enemy. Step on the enemy. Last one. Step on the.
you do me a favor please don't listen to the sound listen to the praise oh yeah bring out your khaki can i see your khaki yeah i just need to see your khaki real quick yeah is that your khaki yeah is that your khaki yeah listen if the key you brought out is not to a 2019 model return it to where you took it from because god is about to do a new thing in your life the bible says they just shall live by words oh yeah bring out the proper key 2019 model tear rubber cha-cha never be dreaming shake the key shake the key shake the key help me if you look at the right hand side of the key there is a button can you see the button when you press the button the car door to the driver's side will open slightly oh yeah press the button is it working is it working oh yeah take one step to your car open the door enter the car This mountain fine, oh! Oh yeah, Tessie Wiper, Tessie Wiper, Tessie Wiper! Is it working? In my place, where I come from, that is how we say it. In my place, where I come from, we have an adage, and the adage says, "Teach you any better, one for one budget." Meaning that when your yam is done and ready to be eaten, you will use your hand to cover, eat, hide, so that your enemies will not see. But my Bible tells me of you that your God shall prepare a table before you. See your hand like this. Oh yeah, press the horn. Let them hear. Press the horn. Help me, help me. If you look under the steering wheel, there is a button. They know they use keys, that's them. Now push button. You do your hand like say you want votes. Oh yeah, push the button. Is it working? We are going to move this car forward now. Oh yeah, grab the steering wheel. On your mark, can I hear you say? You're moving forward. You are crossing over. You are breaking through. You are breaking forth. In the name of Jesus. Hey, on your mark, get
punch and say, in a Cause you race it to follow me.
Anybody grateful? Hallelujah, Jesus. My hallelujah belongs to you. Lord Jesus, you are faithful. We are grateful. My hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. Say. You deserve it. You deserve it. Say. You deserve it. All of the glory Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus All glory to you If it had not been for you Who's been consistently on our side All the glory We give you praise We give you praise Jesus All the glory Jesus I have confidence in you, Jesus. I have confidence in you, Savior. I have confidence in you. Anytime, anywhere, I got confidence. Yeah, one I'll teach you quickly you will say I'm a covenant God is keeping I'm a miracle he has done hey I'm a covenant God is keeping miracle he has done you say I'm a miracle he has done confess it this morning I'm a covenant say I'm a covenant God is keeping I'm a miracle he has done. Say, I'm a miracle he has done. When you see God in your prayers, tell him I'm grateful. When you bow down to the king, or you raise your voice to sing, just say I'm grateful. This is what you say. You put your name. Mike is grateful. Say, Mike is grateful. Come on, Mike is grateful. Mike is grateful. It's your name, Debola. Debola is grateful. Put your name to it. Say, Say you are grateful. Come on, wave those hands and say to it. Come on now. Just say to it, you're grateful. Just say, you're grateful. Yes, you're grateful. Hallelujah, we're grateful. Thank you, Jesus, we're grateful. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, thank you. Lift your two hands to him all over this place. Lord, we're grateful today. Lord, we're grateful today. We're grateful today. Can I, can I have our musicians back on the keyboard? Can you just roll on the keyboard? Lift your two hands to him all over this place. Lord, we're grateful today. Lord, we're grateful today. Receive our praise today. Receive the, the jumping, the dancing the shouting and the lifting up of our hands. We're not going to lift our hands to demons or to, to idols, but we've come to lift our hands to you. The God of all flesh and the Father of all spirit. You deserve the energetic praise. It's all about you. It's all about you. We're not going to over-dignify ourselves to the point that we cannot release our energy to you. You are the giver of grace and the giver of life. And you are the keeper of our souls. And we're grateful. We'll sing that song one more time. You deserve it. You deserve it. Deserve it. Yes. You deserve it. Lift your two hands.
thanks to him all over this place. Lift your two hands to him all over this place. You deserve If you know he deserves it, sing to him this morning. All of our glory. second quarter of 2019 we have come to give you all the glory the one that you deserve and we thank you for your son that you sent to us this morning to energize us to push us in the direction of praise may praise not cease in anyone's house all through this new quarter in the name of Jesus may our praises be energized in the month of April as we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, we declare our praise is renewed. There shall be many more reasons to celebrate, many more reasons to praise the name of Jesus. Where heaviness has prevailed, this morning, we bind the spirit of heaviness. We declare a release of the garment of praise. We declare a release of the oil of joy. In the name of Jesus, where everything has dried up because of our praise this morning, we command a renewal of flourishing. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I cannot hear somebody say amen this morning. As you step into a new month and a new quarter, I see the heavens raining over your land. There shall be no more dryness. In the name of Jesus. I said there shall be no more dryness. I hear the sound of abundance of rain. In the name of Jesus. My God is causing his rain to come upon your land in this new season. 
in the name of Jesus father we thank you father we thank you first John 4 and verse 18 scripture says there's no fear in love they said perfect love cast out fear so I was praying and meditating about this service yesterday the Holy Spirit started to quicken that word in my heart and I knew it was it's just for somebody here because you have praised God this morning I want your faith to be energized God said to tell someone here that he has delivered you from the fear of negative outcome someone has been delivered from the fear of evil do I walk through the valley of shadow of death I shall fear no evil I don't know who has threatened you I don't know what is threatening you but as you leave this place this morning you live with fresh grace you live with new favor and the perfect love of Christ is casting out fear from your heart someone here this morning I don't know the medical report that you got from the doctors but the God of this house Jehovah the God of Israel sent me to you this morning to let you know that you will not die yeah. I say it again you will not die yeah. you will live to see the salvation of the Lord yeah. he said I created everything in your body and I have the power to renew and to restore. So grace comes upon you this morning for renewal and for restoration. In the name of Jesus. And I stand in my authority in Christ Jesus. To rebuke the spirit of fear this morning. Fear I hold you bound in the name of Jesus. As we go into this month of resurrection, as we go into the second quarter of this year, I declare fear will not stop you. Fear will not break your aspiration. In the name of Jesus. May the love of God be shed abroad in your heart in a new dimension. May you gain the revelation and knowledge of his love. Because he loves you and he has always loved you. That's why healing is available to you. That's why doors are opening to you this new quarter. In the name of Jesus. I receive grace upon everyone to meditate on God's love this season. And for that person who has that word, I say it again that you are delivered from the spirit of fear especially the fear of evil someone all your trips this second quarter are saved by the supernatural hand of God when men say there's casting down you will say there's a lifting up there shall be no evil come near your dwelling place in the name of Jesus Christ I raise a shield and a covering over you and your entire household no evil you will walk through the valley of the shadow of death but yet no evil no plague in the name of jesus every threat is nullified every threat is dissolved in the name of jesus father we thank you lord we bless your holy name it is done and the name of Jesus is glorified. Somebody give the Lord some shout in this house. Somebody, somebody who believes in the faithfulness of God, give the Lord a bigger shout in this house. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your name. Please, you may be seated. Please be seated. Please be seated. Can I crave your indulgence to just bow down your head just for a minute as I give some people the opportunity 
to say a prayer with me this morning. I'm talking about anyone who may be in this service who don't, who don't have a vital covenant and a connection with God. We've been on the series of the blessed life. And the blessed person is the one who offers his praise freely to God. But the blessing is premised on a covenant. A covenant. Do you have a relationship with God? Do you have a relationship with God? Or are you far away from God? This morning I want to give an opportunity to someone here on the behalf of Jesus to call you. Jesus said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. He said, I will give you rest. Can I ask that we all bow down our heads and maintain a level of decorum right now just for the sake of the people who need to say this prayer. Just for the sake of the people who need to say this prayer. I want everyone to be still if you can, please. Yeah, just for the sake of people who need to say this prayer. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. He said, I'll give you rest. The rest of Jesus is here this morning. And I want to give you an opportunity to say a prayer. A simple prayer where you're just asking for forgiveness of sin and invite him into your heart. Maybe you said a prayer before, but you know you're backsliding to sin and you want to rededicate your life to Jesus. I also want to give you that opportunity. Or maybe you never said a prayer before. This is your opportunity. Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. Don't keep that door shut. Open it up. Open it up. Wherever you may be, right here at Pieces Conference Center, or you're watching online, you want to ask Jesus into your heart, you want to come back to Jesus, you want to rededicate your heart to him, or you just want to give your life to him, can I ask that you lift your right hand above your head? If you're watching online, I want you to go to the chat room right now and just let us know that you're making a decision. If you're on YouTube, you can just make a comment and let us know that you're making a decision. If you're right here, I want you to lift your right hand above your head. Let me say a prayer for you quickly, quickly. Just one, two minutes, and we're done. And you come into a vital connection with God. Don't second guess your relationship with God. It's not worth leaving it vague. You are not sure. It's better to be sure than to be sorry. And Jesus is always calling. I'm never tired of you, but he's always giving opportunities. This is another opportunity. If your hand is up, can you lift it well? Let me know you're praying with me this morning. Thank you. Thank you for making that decision today. Thank you for making that decision. I want you to remain where you are, but can you please stand? Remain where you are, but can you please stand with me? Just I'm standing here. Just remain where you are, but stand with me. And let's say this prayer together. In honor of our king, stand. Stand this morning. And let's say this prayer together. Remain where you are, but stand. 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 Thank you for standing. Is there any other person you have a struggle in your heart? If you're not sure, then you need to stand. You need to stand. You don't want to walk into a new month, a new quarter, not being sure that God is with you just because you refuse to stand for a simple prayer. So please stand right now. Let's say the prayer together. And let's trust God. Let's trust God with you. Thank you for standing. If you're standing, I wanted to say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner and I need a savior. I ask that you forgive me my sins and that you cleanse me from every unrighteousness. I accept you today as my Lord and my personal Savior. Come into my heart, fill my heart with your spirit and give me a new beginning from this moment forward in the name of Jesus. If you just said the prayer, we have our counselors. If you just look to the left or right uh, and walk down to the side, they just want to spend like five minutes with you and you'll be back with us in the service. So you look to your left or to your right. You see a counselor and you can just follow them quickly. Just follow them quickly. Pick whatever you brought to church and follow them quickly. We just want to spend five minutes of your time with you and you'll be back with us in the service. We thank you for the decisions that you're making this morning. And we believe that God will begin a good work in your life. He will perfect it. And the name of Jesus will be glorified in your life. In the precious name of Jesus. Now, I want you to know that it takes boldness to follow Jesus. I want you to appreciate everyone bold enough to make a decision this morning to renew their relationship with God. Can you please put your hands together and appreciate them? Appreciate them. Appreciate them. Praise God. And will you please help me appreciate Minister Mike Abdul and his team. Can you please put your hands together and appreciate them? Thank you, Mike, for that wonderful, wonderful praise session. 
Uh, only a few people can do it the way he does it. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. I don't want to try. Yeah. Yeah, by the time you do the, you just, <laughs> I don't want to collapse. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. And uh, somebody here, you need to take the, the 30 billion hallelujah home. Yeah. On your own. You wake up at 6 a.m. and do 200 hallelujah with different kind of dance step. It's both praise and aerobics. <laughs> yeah. God will be happier with you and then you will be fitter. <laughs> You'll be more fit. <laughs> praise God. <laughs> and then you go out with joy in your heart. Knowing that if God be for you, no one can be against you. Say a big amen, somebody. <laughs> one more time, can we appreciate Mr. Michael? Good. <laughs> Praise God. All right, we want to celebrate God with our tithes and offerings and every gift that you've brought to give to God this morning. I want you to package them as we give to God. It's our culture to give to God every time we gather together. We believe that our worship and our praise is not complete until we worship God and honor him with our substance. That's the fruit of our labor. God delights in partaking in it because he wants to bless us, not because he needs it, but because it's a channel. Our lives through our seed. And so I, I, I want you to, to embrace this scriptural protocol this morning as we put our seeds down in his hand, trusting him to open the windows of heaven in abundant measure over the work of our hand and over our businesses. For everyone who knows to connect with God vitally uh, through your tithes and offerings, you always see the hand of God. Uh, for those of us who came in earlier, you heard the testimony of the brother. Uh, God made his diligence and his skillfulness to bring forth. Not everyone diligent and skillful have something to show for it. Yeah. But when you connect with God vitally, then God blesses your diligence and your skillfulness and your faithfulness. Our faithfulness is an offshoot of his faithfulness because he has control of everything. Yeah. You cannot uh, overemphasize the principles and de-emphasize the principle because principles notwithstanding, if principle is sleeping, nothing will happen. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Uh, God will give somebody understanding. Yeah. Yeah. He's the one that set the universe in place and caused it to run the way it runs. So when we have done our part, that's what faithful. Our faithfulness is, 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 can only bring forth fruit when he remains faithful. Yeah, when he remains faithful. So when you take God out of the equation and say, I just want to base it on, you know, what I can do and all that, you just realize that uh, the principles that are supposed to work are not working because the principle has looped away. <laughs> May that not be your portion in the name of Jesus. I said that will not be your portion in Jesus' name. The one who keeps the heavens and the heart will watch over you and bless the work of your hand this season in the name of Jesus. There are many ways we give at the Elevation Church, and that's been displayed on the screen. If you're watching online, you can use any of the electronic platforms to give. Like I promised last Sunday, we're working on increasing such avenues for people who watch online to be able to give. And we're going to communicate that with us uh, very soon. Uh, I want to encourage as much as possible, even those of us who are here live, to embrace more of the electronic platforms. Yeah, uh, we're we supporting the drive for cashless Nigeria. Praise God. I said praise God. Yeah, the future is embracing technology. Yeah, you know, back in the day, people bring big envelope, Ghana must go, they would, they, you know, during Thanksgiving, they just want to show that God has been faithful. Now, just transfer it, all right? We, <laughs> Tell your neighbor, say, transfer it. Just wire it. Text it. Do something. Just embrace technology. Some people are still afraid. That what about if I text that thing, I just take everything in my account. It won't take everything in your account. <laughs> Praise God. Let me tell your neighbor again, say, it's cashless Nigeria. Praise God. Are we ready to give this morning? Let's pray. If you have given electronically, just lift your right hand to Jesus. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to give to you today. Your word says, Paul planted Apollo's water, but you gave the increase. And you said, if the heart remains, seed time and harvest time shall not cease. Lord, this first worship day, 
of the month of April and the second quarter of 2019, we come to celebrate you with our seeds, with our offerings, with our thanksgiving, and with our tithes. Lord, for everyone stretching to honor you with a tithe this morning, I ask, Father, look unto them favorably. Reward their faithfulness and their sacrifice. Everyone redeeming a pledge, everyone partnering with us, every of the kingdom projects, we ask everlasting Father, let the heavens open over them afresh. As they keep their part of the covenant, let your faithfulness shine upon them. Receive every seed this morning as a worship to you. And let the dew of heaven come upon them. Let our labor yield maximum fruit. Let there be no toiling around here. Thank you for abundance of rain. We bless your name in Jesus' precious name. Somebody say, believe in amen. amen. Praise God. Our uh, ushers will move around to take the offerings from us. And as we do that this morning, I want to welcome everyone worshiping with us for the first time. Uh, this Thanksgiving service, maybe you just walked in, somebody invited you, you saw our advert, and you are here for the first time. Can I see a show of hands? Can you wave your hands? My first time at the Elevation Church. Can you please stand? If you don't mind, it's your first time. Can you please stand? Elevation Church, can we keep clapping as our guests? we we'll stand. People are standing all around the auditorium. Let's keep clapping for our guests. Let's be warm to our guests this morning. If you're standing, I mean, if you're sitting around them, please shake hands with somebody who is standing. Welcome them to church this morning. Let's do it a little better. Let's do it a little better. Come on, be encouraged to celebrate somebody this morning. Praise God. Praise God. For all of our guests, uh, if you have a gift bag from our officials, you may please have your seat. We have a gift bag uh, we want to give to you. If you have that, you may please have your seat. We thank you very, very much for coming to be a part of our service today. We believe that God who brought you into this service has blessed you. And our prayer is that the blessing and the favor of God will continue to rest upon your life in the precious name of Jesus. As you have praised God today, praise will not depart from your homes in the precious name of Jesus. Now, this is the Elevation Church. Our mission is to make greatness common. Our definition of greatness is service, serving God and serving humanity with passion. We believe uh, that God created us for a purpose, and that purpose is uh, to serve him and serve his purpose on earth. Uh, this church seeks to create a conducive environment for everyone that will come here to discover that which God has given them with which they can serve and be a blessing to their world and to God's kingdom. That's why we exist. And we believe that uh, as you come again and again, uh, the grace that we enjoy in this house will find uh, fulfillment in your life and you will have a testimony of impact, a testimony of greatness in the precious name of Jesus. Uh, somebody say a better amen. amen. So again, we want to welcome you very specially. I'd love to crave your indulgence, so please look into the gift uh, pack that we've given you. We have some gifts there for you, but that's not what I wanted to look at right now. I wanted to pick out the guest information card. There's a pen attached to that card. We need you to fill the card because we want to keep in touch with you. Uh, invite you to subsequent events of the Elevation Church. Just generally be your friend. Send you some uh, good stuff that we believe that if you read them, they will be a blessing to you. Maybe you're just visiting our city. Uh, we'd love to keep in touch with you send information against your next visit so you know what's happening at your elevation church and you can choose to come back. Or maybe you just moved into the neighborhood and you're looking for a great church to attend. We want to recommend that you prayerfully consider uh, making the elevation church your home church, uh, especially if uh, you feel this atmosphere is conducive for greatness to be made common in your own life. Then come, come again and again and ask us questions about how you can be a vital part of what God is doing here. Again, we welcome you very specially. And we pray uh, that the grace and the blessing of God will rest and abide with you as you go. And this week will be the best week of your life so far. In Jesus' precious name. One more time, can we appreciate all of our guests? All right, again, for our guests, the moment the service, service is over, we love to uh, give you a, a, a light refreshment in our welcome lounge, which is just under. Uh, the gallery, we have our officials there lifting up the banner and guest welcome reception here. If you're on the gallery, we want you to come down to the main floor, just under the gallery. If you're on the main floor, just walk to the back of the gallery. Just five minutes of your time, where another service is starting uh, in, in, by 10.30, so 
just five minutes of your time. We're not going to hold you at all. We know you have important things to do later today. So five minutes of your time. Uh, we have a large refreshment. We want to serve you and one of our ministers. We also want to say a blessing on behalf of the church over you uh, before you go. Uh, so the card that I spoke about, if you fill the card with accurate information, you can bring it to the guest welcome reception or give it to any of our officials before you go. And we'll definitely keep in touch with you before this week is over. Thank you again and God bless you. All right, one or two announcements and we'll bring the service to a close. Uh, uh, there will be uh, uh, the Sunday membership class for everyone who has been here at the Elevation Church for a while but you are not in registered membership yet. Uh, you want to be a vital part of what God is doing in this church, the doorway into that is to come into a registered membership by being a part of our membership class. Uh, membership classes hold uh, first Saturday of every month. So there was a membership class yesterday, and then we have a Sunday version, uh, which will be two classes. The Saturday version is one class, it's 8 to 12 noon. Uh, the Sunday version is two classes, first and second Sunday of the month. So during the second service today, uh, uh, from 12, uh, 10.30 to 12 noon, there will be uh, the first class of the Sunday version of the membership class. So if you've been struggling to be a part of a membership class and you don't have any urgent appointment after now, you can just wait and go to the pretend, old pretend stand. That's the tent behind this auditorium for the membership class the moment the service is over. And uh, you do that this Sunday and next Sunday and you're done with membership class. Praise God. I want you to help me look at your neighbor say they're expecting you there. Yeah, at membership class. That's if you have not done membership class. <laughs> Praise God. All right, the career fair um, put together by Career Pro, our career enhancement ministry of the Elevation Church, holds this Saturday, the 13th of April, uh, here at the Pieces Conference Center at 10 a.m., and it will run the, till 3 p.m. So if you are yet to register, you can do so at the information desk after the service or check online on our website to see how to register. The career fair, by the way, is not uh, for job seekers only. It's for people who want to, uh, uh, you know, move to the next dimension in their career and who want to know how to do that and engage with people and organizations that will help you to do that. We have um, a number of organizations that are partnering with us on this career fair. Some of them are multinationals who will be here uh, uh, you know, to check you out, uh, tell you the things that you need to know, and some of them are going to be recruiting on the spot, and this is not just entry-level stuff. This is for anyone who wants to engage career progression, like I said. And if you're entry-level, an entry-level person, it's also a fantastic opportunity for you, for your CVs to be checked out, for you to be advised, and then for you to get internship opportunities that will lead to a job placement. Last uh, career um, uh, fair, Quite a number of people got internship opportunities and they're now full staff in such places. And uh, I don't want to drop names, but just come on Saturday. Uh, uh, top, top level uh, HR practitioners will be here and a few organizations that also are partnering with us, like I said, will be here. It's your great opportunity uh, to be a part of this. This is how God lifts us and answers our prayers. So don't allow any, anything else to stand in your way. If you have a wedding to attend, attend it promptly and then face uh, some weightier matters of the law, praise God, or, or other matters of destiny. Uh, it's not like they'll be finishing the wedding and they'll be sweeping. That's when you remember that career fair and then they say it's time to go, man. Oh, it's now six o'clock, career fair is over and the only rice that you had. Praise God. <laughs> so come, can you let me tell your neighbor, if you need to be there on Saturday, be there. Mark your calendar and come. And God will bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. All right, we'll bring um, the service to a close. Um, I want to invite Brother Sheik Kolaole to lead us in the benediction. Can we please stand as we bring the service to a close? Have a great week and see you on Wednesday. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is indeed a good thing to praise the Lord, isn't it? All right, uh, I pray that shouts of joy and rejoicing will not cease from our homes in Jesus' name. All right, so we'll take our closing charge from Psalms 1, verses 1 to 3 for our guests. It will be displayed on the screen. Let's go. Bless the mind, for I walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, 
nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But my delight is in the word of the Lord, and in his word I meditate day and night. I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I bring forth my fruit in my season. My leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever I do prospers. Hallelujah. For first-time guests, please remember to meet us at the back right now. Amen.
lift your hands and worship him, and oh. Lift your hands and worship him, and oh. Sometimes the word will fail us, and um, all we can just say is, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh.
Lift your hands and worship him in the room. Lift your hands and worship him in the room. Sometimes the word will fail us, and um, all we can just say is, oh, 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 oh.
Say that you are the one, you are the one, you are the one. Jehovah, Jehovah, you are. After you, there's no other. Before you, there was no other. After you, there will be no other. You are the one that was, and is, and is to come. You are good, Lord. 
Dede kama mama na na na. I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater, nobody greater, nobody greater than you. Nobody greater, nobody greater, nobody greater than you. I searched all over, say, I searched all over, couldn't find. I searched high and low, still couldn't find. Nobody greater, nobody greater, say, uh, Nobody greater, nobody greater, and you say, nobody greater, sing, nobody, nobody greater than you. Let's sing it again. I searched all over the world, couldn't find, I looked high and low, still couldn't find. Nobody greater, nobody greater, nobody greater. Let's sing, nobody greater than you. Nobody greater, nobody greater than you. Nobody greater, nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody stronger, nobody wiser, nobody higher, nobody greater. Nobody greater, nobody greater. Nobody greater than him. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There is no one, there's no one like him. There is no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one. Stretched all over the snow like you. I looked high and low, there's no like you, Jesus. You are God. You are not just Brigo. You are not just like you. You're a great God. You are big, 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 big. You are large, 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 large. You are great, 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 great. You are a really great God. You are big, 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 big. You are large, 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 large. large. You are great, 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 great. You are great God. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever the same. You are good and your mercy is forever. Casting crown. Lifting hands, 
bowing hearts is all we come to do. Casting crown, lifting hands, bowing hearts is all we come to do. I don't know, I say. I don't know. Adonai, 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 you ain't casting crown, lifting and bowing hearts. That's all we've got to do. The casting crown. Lifted it, I don't know. It's all we come to do. Adonai. Call his name. I don't know. I don't You ain't We will rise. You ran, you ran, you ran. If you're ready to praise God this morning, put your hands together with us. Come on, hallelujah! All right, there's a new song a lot. So, well, we always sing it, and this part we don't normally sing it. So, I'll quickly we have 36 seconds. I'll quickly do that. Let me look at your neighbor. You're looking so beautiful today. If the person is a man, say you're looking very handsome. Look at somebody else and say honestly, in fact, we are going to do a lot of dancing today. Eh? So, uh, there's some things that don't qualify as dance. Let's agree on that. This doesn't qualify as dance. Is that dance? Ah. So we'll see. Let me, let me, let me, let's try. Say. I will praise you, Lord. Praise on my life. You have blessed me, O Father. Sing it again. I will praise you, Lord, for your praise on my life. You have blessed me, O Father. Now I'm blessed like a winner, man. Okay, we didn't speak in tongues. Are you ready? Say, I will praise you. Put the lyrics on the screen for us, please. I will praise you. Oh, uh -huh, wait first. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You have blessed me, O oh Father. Now I dance like a little. Let it look. Now I dance like a little man. So we do it once, and then you do it. We are the call, they are the response. Are you ready to sing to them? One, two, go. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You have blessed me, O oh Father. Now I dance like a little man. See, Christians. Uh -huh. It's okay, it's okay. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace of my life. You have just tried. Right. You can speak in tongues. I don't matter what matter. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace of my life. You have blessed me, your oh Father. Now I let me say again. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace. You have blessed me, oh my Father. Now I just like you. I will praise you, Lord, uh, for your grace of my life. You have blessed me, O oh Father. Now I, let's do two more times. Say. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace of my life. You have blessed me, O oh Father. Now I stand like a winner, man. Okay, try it. Honestly, try it now. Even if you do um, you know, uh, uh, Father, I want to go. I will praise you for your grace in my life. You have blessed me, oh Father. Now I dance like a winner. I see you I will praise you, Lord, for your grace in my life. All right, let's go. Are you ready? Your grace on my life, you have blessed me, your father. 
Now by them, let's see how that's it. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You are blessed beyond my life. I will bless my children. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace in my life. You are blessed beyond my life. I will dance like a winner, man. I will praise you, Lord, for your grace on my life. You are blessed beyond my life. Here we go. Oh, when you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. Somebody see me dance, I dance like a winner man. When you see me dance.
call yourself a winner man.
We worship you, our Father, our King, our Maker. It is good to give thanks to pray unto God. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name, our Father. We are delighted to worship and glorify you. We'll sing it together. Oh, I know what God say. I know what God is merciful. Merciful and kind. Is faithful. Faithful and gracious. Someone say, I'm the apple of His eye. Say. It. I'm the apple of his heart The thought that fills his heart Every morning He loved me when I didn't care say. He loved me when I didn't care Was patient till I came Running back to his house How it turned my life around Made me a shining star It's glory to reveal Oh, I will You deserve it Because this God This God is so good Sing together. I know what God sing to me. Say, I know. Lift your voice and say those words. Say, for and God is faithful. Our God is gracious. I'm the apple of His eyes. Sing with me. Say, I'm the thought that fills His heart. Your God's mind this morning. Every morning. Every morning. Patient till I get look running a very personal conversation with God this morning. Say, God, you are good. God, you are good. God, I declare you are good. Here is Bola this morning saying you are good. I want you to lift up your voice this morning to your God. And I want you to have a conversation with him this morning and declare to him, God, you are good. And your mercy endures forever. God, you are faithful and you are altogether trustworthy. God, you are good. My soul knows very well you are good. It is a good thing, the Bible says, to give thanks to the Lord. Will you give thanks this morning in your own words, from your own heart, from your lips today? I know the worship team has led us in a round of 
worship but I want him to hear the fruit of your lips today I want him to hear your words today if in the past week you saw him show himself as a faithful God can you lift up your voice to the faithful God we worship if you cast your mind back I'm sure there is something that you can recall about his faithfulness and his goodness towards you perhaps when you didn't know how you were going to make it through and just in the nick of time he showed up for you can you lift up your voice to say God you are the one who turns a deadline into a lifeline you're the one who turns all things around you're the one who causes all things to work together for my good I call you a faithful God I call you a healing God I call you the one who keeps my mind and my soul in peace I call you the one who gives me hope when I think I've come to the end of myself Lord you show forth Lord you show up you are altogether dependable and Lord we lift up our worship to you today Lord only the living can praise you only the living can worship when Hezekiah turned his face to that wall and cried and lifted up his voice and said God only the living can praise you only the living he knew what it meant to trust God for something that only God can bring this morning I want you to lift up your voice and say God I know that it wasn't my intellect that brought it I know it wasn't my strength that brought it if I think I have any skill or any, or any wisdom or any competence I recognize this morning that you are God and I say thank you Lord for your faithfulness towards me thank you for your goodness towards me thank you father Lord for breath for life for hope for a beautiful new day oh someone in this room you may not have everything that you were trusting God for but the fact that you're alive and in his presence this morning means that there is yet hope even for a tree that has been cut down the Bible says yet at the scent of water it will bud it will spring forth it will come alive we've come into the presence of God today and there is the scent of water in this place the scent of God's life-giving spirit in this room today and I want you to lift up your voice and say God I bless you God I bless you God I bless you if I didn't if I didn't say anything else today and all I said was God I bless you God I thank you it's not too much it's not too much it's not too much Lord we bless your name Lord we praise you for every individual standing here we thank you for our nation Nigeria we thank you father Lord for every family represented here Lord you are a faithful God and we acknowledge it in this place today thank you father thank you father we thank you Almighty God we are so grateful for this opportunity to come into your presence we don't take it for granted we don't account it as a small thing that we can come into your presence washed by the blood of the lamb healed saved delivered lifted and bless you on this first Sunday of the second quarter of 2019 Lord we say thank you we say thank you as a people today Lord we say we are grateful your name is worthy you are worthy of our praise altogether worthy of our praise in Jesus mighty name is anyone grateful this morning that you serve a God who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all you can ask think or even imagine celebrate him today in Jesus mighty name now if you haven't yet done that can I ask you very respectfully to turn to the person standing on your left or on your right and just welcome them this morning
I know you're going to say they've come again. Church, church, we're greeting, greeting. But can you decide to prophesy to that person standing beside you and become an instrument of God this morning and say, the Lord our God is meeting you in this service. It's a service for praise, right? We are praising God in this service today. Tell him that the Lord will meet you. Tell her the Lord will meet you in this service and you will not go home the way that you came. In Jesus' mighty name. If you have prophesied to your neighbor, please go ahead and have your seat in the presence of the Lord. Amen. You're welcome this morning to our Thanksgiving Sunday. Hallelujah. And as our custom is, we are going to sing, we're going to dance, we're going to celebrate. We're not just thanking God for all he has done. God has been faithful, God has been good. But we're also thanking him for all that he is and all that we know that he is set to do in the season ahead. Amen. Amen. We're making it a sacrifice of praise. And I know that in your life, in your home, in your family, on your job, you will see the presence of God manifest in Jesus' mighty name. So just before I call out the families um, dedicating babies to God this morning, we have 20 families dedicating babies to the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. We have so many birthday thanksgivings. We have wedding anniversaries in the month of April. And we will sing, we will dance, we will celebrate God. Amen. And we also have um, Minister Mike Abdul in the room. Amen. Hallelujah. And he's going to lead us in a rousing time of praise and worship. Amen? Amen. All right. So right now, please welcome with me these families who are celebrating God and dedicating their babies to God in Thanksgiving this morning. Like I said, 20 families. Hallelujah. I just had to pause and take it in for a minute. 20 families. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. How many of us know that God is the giver of good gifts? I'm grateful. Are you grateful? Yes. We're grateful this morning. So as a grateful people, we welcome and celebrate the families of Mr. and Mrs. Simeon Okara, thanking God for their daughter. Mr. and Mrs. Oludare Ajide, thanking God for their son. Mr. and Mrs. Okechuku Alozie, thanking God for their daughter. Mr. and Mrs. Olawale Ajasa, thanking God for their son. I told you it was 20. Don't get tired on me. We're going to 20 this morning. Amen. Mr. and Mrs. Benga Omolokun, thanking God for their son. Mr. and Mrs. Ademola Johnson, thanking God for their son. Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Chukujeku, thanking God for their daughter. Mr. and Mrs. Mayowa Anibaba, thanking God for their son. Mr. and Mrs. Kelechi Onwudiwe, thanking God for their son. Mr. and Mrs. David, also thanking God for their son. Mr. and Mrs. Okpeyemi Ojeyinka, thanking God for their son. Mr. and Mrs. Save Ohagwa, thanking God for their son. Mr. and Mrs. Josephine Dixon, thanking God for their son. Mr. and Mrs. Michael Ajunoma, thanking God for their son. Mr. and Mrs. Louis Onike, thanking God for their daughter. Mr. and Mrs. Sunday John, thanking God for their son. Mr. and Mrs. Chibuike Uzowulu, yes, thanking God for their daughter. Mr. and Mrs. Ni Yoshomo, thanking God for their son. Mr. and Mrs. Kenneth Eremio Kale, thanking God for their daughter. And Mr. and Mrs. Olaniron Leo Olagbaye, thanking God for their son. Also welcome for birthday Thanksgiving, Mrs. Nkiruka Nzeka and Mrs. Nkechi Runshewe, thanking God. And for everyone else in the room, it's your birthday, it's your wedding anniversary. God did something in the month of April, that, in the month of March, that left your mouth wide open. Dance forward, celebrate God, and give Him worthy praise. Oluwa etobi etobi o etobi ko seni se ko seni tale fi shaka were o etobi ko seni tale fi shaka were o etobi he oluwa oluwa etobi etobi o Sanitary, 
lift him up, lift him up, lift him up, higher, higher, he's the king of kings, the king of glory, lift him up, 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 higher. Hallelujah. Someone who is grateful, give the Lord a shout of praise. It's special celebration in all the services today. We've been giving God the quality praise that He alone deserves. And we have a special reason to give God better praise, even in this second service. Uh, we're dedicating 20 babies to the Lord. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. And for everyone celebrating God in the month of April for birthdays, for wedding anniversaries, for special Thanksgiving of all sorts, um, you got a job, it's the anniversary of your business or anniversary of your current job, we just want to celebrate God with you today, knowing that only God can do the things that he's doing in your life. And God delights in our praise and in our thanksgiving. Uh, special birthday thanksgiving uh, in Kiru Nzeka and Nke Chirun Shewe and many other people here who are also having special birthday thanksgiving. Uh, we want to celebrate God with you today. He alone deserves all your praise and your thanksgiving. Can I get an amen to that? Yeah. So for everyone in the congregation, we're, we're still going to dance a little bit more, but for now, we want, we want to pray. We want to just pray and celebrate God in the life of everyone standing outside. Uh, for all the families who have brought uh, the children to the altar today to be dedicated to God, we say congratulations to you, all the aunties, uncles, grandmas, and grandpas. Welcome to the Elevation Church, and thank you for uh, gracing this occasion. Praise God. Uh, the joy that we're celebrating today in our families will not be turned to sorrow. Amen. God who began a good work in these families will perfect them. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for everyone celebrating birthdays in the month of April. Lord, we're here at the altar today to give you glory and to return all the praise to you. We acknowledge that you are the giver of life. You are the sustainer of life. You are the one who meets us at every point of need. We ask that you uh, take all the glory and all the praise in the life of every celebrant in the name of Jesus. So we we'll pronounce a special blessing over everyone celebrating birthdays in the month of April, everyone celebrating wedding anniversaries in the month of April. We declare that those homes will receive peace. Amen. They will have joy Amen. in the name of Jesus. That God will continue to sustain those marriages and make them good examples in the name of Jesus. We speak a blessing over everyone celebrating birthdays. We declare you will not be cut short in your prime. With long life, God will satisfy you and show you salvation. Our God will bless the work of your hand, cause you to be productive. May the second quarter of 2019 be exceedingly productive for you. May God grant your heart desires and prosper your work and your businesses. In the name of Jesus, we declare the covering of the power and the blood of Jesus over your lives. No evil will befall you, and no plague will come near your dwelling. Your going out and your coming in is blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whatever you lay your hands upon to do, this new season, as we move into another year, God will prosper them in your hand. There shall be abundance of rain in your life. There shall be no dryness. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for everyone remembering your goodness and celebrating anniversaries of uh, the current employment, of, of the starting of their businesses in the month of April. Lord, we ask, let the heavens continually open over them. As they offer you praise today, let praise not depart from their homes. In the name of Jesus. 
uh, can I request for everyone carrying a baby to be dedicated to just take a step forward co closer? If you're carrying a baby to be dedicated, just take a step closer so I can uh, just put my hands on, on, on these babies uh, symbolically as we trust that the hand of God is touching each and every one of them in Jesus' name. So our Father, we thank you for all your children that have been brought to the altar. Lord, this is for the purpose of dedicating them at this altar today. You are the God of this altar and the God of this commission. We ask that your grace will rest upon these children in the name of Jesus. As we dedicate them to you and you alone, we ask that you be their God. Watch over them. Prosper them in the land of the living. Let them bring us joy in the name of Jesus. Cause them to be significant in their generation. Let the grace upon this church for greatness rest upon each one of them. Let them be greater than their parents Amen. and their grandparents. Amen. As they carry the legacy of these families forward, it shall be with joy. Amen. It shall be with peace. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. we speak a blessing over you today. Amen. We decree that you are blessed beyond a curse. Amen. That the hand of Jehovah God rests upon you Amen. all the days of your life. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Blessed of the God that made the heavens and the earth. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, my God prospers you in the land of the living, make you fruitful in the name of Jesus. You have come with joy. Your life will be filled with joy. There shall be no sorrow added to your life in the name of the Lord Jesus. We call you blessed. As many of you as are opening the womb, we declare those wombs will not be shut in the name of Jesus. The blessing of God that make rich and add no sorrow shall be your portion. These families will have causes to rejoice over you all the days of your life. Amen. You will not bring the names to disrepute. Amen. You will carry it to glory. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we declare you blessed. Amen. The grace of God rests upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So Father, we dedicate all these children to you. In the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be their God. Amen. Be their Father. Amen. Watch over them Amen. day and night. Let your angels keep charge over them. We decree whatever is cutting lives of young children short in the world today will not be able to touch them. We declare that they will grow up perfectly. In the name of Jesus, we stand against any form of disability. We decree that your hand shields them. Lord, if there's any medical report concerning any one of them, we ask that you turn negative medical report around for us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Between now and their first birthday, let everything be resolved and turned around supernaturally. Amen. Honor your word at this altar today. Amen. And bring all this child under your covering. Amen. Let there be radical transformation Amen. in anything that is not supposed to be. We thank you, our Father, and we bless you. Thank you because April is a season of celebration. As we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, we declare that the blessing of res resurrection and redemption is our portion in the precious name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because everything that is dying is resurrecting. Everything that is going up or going down is now going up. Weaknesses are turned to strength. Amen. And there's healing in the month of April. Amen. We thank you, our Father. Take all the glory. For everyone celebrating with families in this church today, we declare in your own families, we will hear the sound of celebration. Amen. And in your day of celebration, you will not be alone. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the voice of rejoicing and celebration will not depart from your own homes. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you take all the glory. Somebody put your hands together and celebrate Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, so we're going to do something now. 
I know we came with a heart full of praise and a heart full of thanksgiving, but as we dance to our seats this morning, emphasis is going to be on the word dance. Amen. We're going to give the Lord a sacrifice of praise. We're going to give him a dance offering. Amen. So as the praise team leads us this morning, we're going to dance in praise and in celebration to our God. Amen. Amen. It's a pact, right? We are agreed. Shout! 
your dwelling place in Jesus mighty name amen go ahead and have your seat amen hallelujah we have so much to be grateful for and as we proceed in the service today please receive a video testimony I can assure you that it's a testimony that's going to lift make your heart leap for joy and celebrate with the young man and then we'll receive the video announcement and then Pastor Godman will be upstage. Amen. God bless you. Hello and welcome to our Thanksgiving service. A very special welcome if this is your first time at the Elevation Church. We're so excited you could join us and we thank everyone who invited someone to church. Please don't rush off after this service. We have a short welcome reception just for you. We also have a fun and safe junior church facility for your kids and a vibrant teens church which are just outside this auditorium. You can speak to any of our officials if you need directions. Do join us this Wednesday at 6.30pm for our midweek event switch. We continue talking about the blessed life. Don't miss this time of enlightening and do invite someone. Our quarterly online prayer meetings continue tomorrow through to Saturday from 6am to 7am. It's a good way to start this new quarter of the year and we encourage you to join us. The webinar links will be shared via emails and SMS. We do encourage you to share with your friends and loved ones. Do not miss this refreshing time of prayers and testimonies. If you're a job seeker or looking to change career path, please do not miss this year's career fair and mentoring section happening this Saturday the 13th of April here at the Pistis Conference Centre. The theme this year is Fit for Future and it starts at 10 a.m. and ends at 3 p.m. Some of the highlights of this event will be the opportunity to engage recruiters and organizations and some participants may be interviewed for available jobs by some companies as they require. Register for free today at elevationng.org forward slash career fair and share this information with anyone who needs it. Do not miss this grand opportunity. The mission trip to Casina tagged Operation Joshua Missions Outreach is still open for registration. It starts from Wednesday the 17th of April to Tuesday the 23rd of April and all interested persons and missionaries or anyone willing to sponsor another can still register after this service at the missions desk right outside this auditorium. Details about the cost and logistics will be communicated at the desk. Be assured that even if you've never been on a mission trip, couple officials will hold a proper orientation for you before departure. It's an experience you're likely to forget. For further inquiries, you can send an email to missions at elevationng.org. Easter celebration is upon us and the teenagers will be having their annual Teens Nation Easter timeout. It's an opportunity for them to relax, have fun and bond with their friends in a safe environment. The date is Saturday the 20th of April and time is 10 a.m. and it's happening right here at the Pieces Conference Centre. So parents, do not hold your teenagers back and let them experience this super fun time with their peers. In addition to the games and activities lined up, there will be breakout sections to discuss issues that affect teenagers today. Registration is necessary for adequate planning and comes at the rate of just 2,000 Naira. This will cover meals, games and other fun activities. There are limited spaces available, so register after this service. For other inquiries, you can visit the Teen Station tent. Do not miss this event happening at the Elevation Church this Easter. First, there will be an Easter production titled More Than Yesterday, which will hold on Sunday the 21st of April in all our services. This is a moment to share with your family, friends and loved ones and show them the true meaning of Easter, so do not miss it. Then the following day will be our food and fun family fair tagged Taste of our tribes and it's a day we get to experience sumptuous delicacies from across the country and have fun activities like daddy's cook-off, junior chef, movie time and lots of games for everyone. Do not let this memorable day pass you by. Tickets are now available at 1000 naira per adult and 500 naira per child, so get yours right after this service. Also, if you'd like to partner with us or sponsor the event, please meet with our reps at the Taste of Our Tribe stand outside this auditorium. Thank you and see you there. Partner group meetings hold today across the island. Find a group of friends that you can do life with and you won't regret it. If you aren't part of one, please visit elevationng.org forward slash connect group to sign up. If you'd like to host a connect group in any of these areas displayed on the screen, please sign up at the information stand right after this service.
for this week stay connected with us on social media at elevation ng and with inspiring blog posts on elevationng.org forward slash blog do enjoy the rest of the service and have a testimony filled week On the 8th of March was my birthday and I woke up with 000 account balance. My pastor called me to wish me happy birthday and he sent me something for cake. A few of my friends called and then something was sent into my account for cake. And um, as God will have it, we had fun on that day. A friend of mine slided into my DM to wish me happy birthday. A uh, few hours down the line, I checked my phone again and I saw his messages ranting, shouting that I told you to go to Lucky One to check a job, but um, you did not go. I told him, Guy, you are talking to the wrong person, and we laughed over it. But I jumped on it, and I told him that, Guy, this thing that you are looking for somebody to achieve for you, I can do it. I'm a studio person. I can do studio integration. And he said, okay, we laughed over it, and that was it. On Monday morning, I checked my phone. I went on Instagram. I saw his message, him asking for my number. But I have his number. What I did was to just call him immediately. And I told him that, Guy, here I am. What do you need me for? He said, okay, go to this place in Lekki One. You will meet this person and sell yourself to him. Immediately, I went to Lucky One. I met with this young man and he said, okay, can you do this? I said, yes, he took me to the studio. I checked the room. He said, okay, what he wants to do is to turn this place into a virtual studio. There and there, he asked for a budget. I gave him a budget. He looked through it and he said, okay, I'm going to pay you 90% of, of the money. There and there, he asked for my account number. Before I could say Jack Robinson, I got the alert, huge amount of money. And he asked, when am I going to start the job? I told him, I have started already. He asked, when am I going to deliver? I told him, give me two to three days. I delivered the job in two days. He came to the site and he was impressed. He gave me another job. He paid me my balance. He paid me this one 100%. I delivered the job in two to three days. He came to the site again, he checked, he was impressed, he gave me another one, I delivered the job in two to three days. In a week, I delivered the, his job and he was happy. I want to give glory to God. On the 8th, I was with zero zero account balance and now my account was running millions. I want to give glory to God because God met me at my point of need. He blessed me beyond my imagination. Hallelujah. Can you pray and get up for Jesus one more time? All right, so if you, if you want to, if you want that kind of testimony, you want to celebrate, you want to share that kind of testimony, can you put your hands together for Jesus one more time? Hallelujah. All right, so I, I believe God very seriously, right? That that is going to be somebody's story in the name of Jesus. Now, but one thing I want you to notice this, right? Don't just clap and shout. I want you to notice what the man said. He said, they gave me the job. I delivered. Yeah? He delivered. He didn't run away. Not only did he deliver, he delivered good quality. Okay? All right. So we're not people who will collect people's money and run away. We're not people who will collect people's money and deliver shoddy jobs. Hallelujah. That's not what we are known for, the Elevation Church, all right? Okay. And then one more thing that he did, he said, look, when the opportunity didn't look like it was his own opportunity, he went half tight, right? Do you, you hear what he said? He said, my friend said, oh, look, it wasn't, you were not the one I was talking to. He, said, he didn't take that. He didn't say, okay, I've heard, go and talk to the person. He went, I can do this thing. Sell yourself. Market yourself. Chase the opportunities, and God will go with you in the name of Jesus. But make sure you always deliver. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, so you're welcome to church this morning. Uh, we want to thank everybody who's joining us for the very first time, especially people who have come to celebrate Thanksgiving um, with other people. Either you've come with someone who is doing um, baby dedication or who is doing a wedding anniversary or whatever it is, you know, we welcome you to the Elevation Church. We are really, really glad that you chose today to join us, especially grandparents, uncles, everybody who came. All right? We celebrate you. Um, we will take time to welcome you, especially Pastor Godman will come um, towards the end of the service to say a prayer over us and also to sort of welcome you very specially and recognize you in church, all right? And can we put our hands together this morning for those people who are joining us for the first time at the Elevation Church? Hallelujah. Okay, so um, I know that we have announced that today is raw praise, okay, um, because it's the first Sunday in the second quarter of the year. 
is the first Sunday in the month of April, and today we're just going to let loose and give God praise. So for the next 10 to 12 minutes, I just want to say a few things very quickly and get out of your way so that we can go ahead and just celebrate the goodness of God, praise Him for the things that are ahead of us in the name of Jesus. All right, so this morning we're going to be talking about praising your way into victory. Praising your way into victory. So um, in the last five, five weeks thereabouts, all right, we've been talking about the blessed life. And one of the things that the Bible says about the blessed man, about the righteous man in the book of Psalm 18, verse 15, is that sound of rejoicing will not depart from the habitation of the righteous, okay? There will always be a reason and a cause for the just man to be blessed, all right? I mean, to, to rejoice, for the blessed man to rejoice, okay? And so we hold on to that promise this morning, and we're going to be rejoicing in the Lord for the things that he has done for us, the things that he is doing for us, and the things that he will always do, all right? We're going to praise God this morning for where we have been, all right? For where we are right now and the places that we see God ahead taking us to, okay? So we will praise him for the promise of the future. Hallelujah. But you see, the thing is this, um, right from the beginning of this year, God would have given you a word. You may have a plan, things that you have been chasing. And the first three months of the year might look like uh, they're not looking like the kind of picture of the year 2019 that you have in your heart. But you see, the interesting thing is this. The way to get from where you are to where you want to be, according to the picture that God has put in your heart, is through praise. It's not through grumbling. It's not through being upset with God. It is praising him. So let's read very quickly in the book of Acts chapter 16. I'm going to read the book of Acts chapter 16. I will read from verse 16, read a few verses and paraphrase the rest of the story. The Bible says, now it happened as we went to prayer. The deciding slave girl, possessed with a spirit of divination, met us, who brought our masters much profit by fortune telling. The Bible says, this girl followed Paul and us and cried out saying, these men are the servants of the Most High God, who proclaim to us the way of salvation. And this she did for many days. The Bible. Then um, the next verse says, But Paul, greatly annoyed, turned and said to the Spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out that very hard. But when our master saw that their hope of profit was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to the authorities. And they brought them to the magistrates and said, These men, being Jews, exceedingly trouble our city and they teach us customs which are not lawful for us being romans to receive or to observe then the multitudes rose up together against them and they did all sort of stuff to them they beat them they tore off their clothes and they threw them into prison and when they threw them into prison they told the jailer they said look these are vip prisoners we wanted to keep them very specially take them to the most difficult the toughest part of the prison and that was exactly what they did but look at what the bible says in verse 26 25. It says, let's read that together, verses 25 and 26. Please put on the screen. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately, all the doors were opened, and everyone's chains were loosened. Hallelujah. All right, so let's read that last verse again. He says, suddenly there was a earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were loosened. Hallelujah. Now, this story, it started actually in Acts chapter 13. So these gentlemen were on their own minding their business and praying to God. And they were worshiping God, they were in service like this. And the Holy Spirit said, very publicly, I am giving you an assignment to do. Separate unto me Paul and Barnabas. Okay? So very publicly, the Holy Spirit anointed them, gave them the promise of the ministry, gave them the promise of a glorious future. But you move three chapters down the line in the process of pursuing the promise and the prophecy that God gave over their lives, right? They got, in, they got into trouble. Hallelujah. They got into trouble and they were put in prison. They were, they were manhandled. They were oppressed and beaten very badly. And they got into trouble and they were thrown into prison. 
I'm sure that at the back of their minds, there is a potential that they would then have said, look, God, we love you. God, we love you with our hearts, our souls, and our beings, and we have followed your word and your instruction. But see where it has landed us. The people that stayed at home and didn't go anywhere to do anything for you, they are still at home in their beds. They had dinners on their own dining tables. But we are here and we're suffering. And so someone may be here this morning who say, at the beginning of this year, God gave me a word. But this is the end of first quarter and the beginning of second quarter. I haven't seen that word come to pass. In fact, in the process of chasing the dreams that God put in my heart, I have gotten into trouble. I have tried to do the business. I have lost money. I have applied for the jobs. In fact, they have, nobody has still spoken to me. I have tried to do very well on my job. In fact, they have fired me. The first thing I want to say to you this morning is this. Look, God is the God of the journey. He is taking you somewhere. Where you are is a bus stop. It's not the end of the journey. And so I want you to, in your heart this morning, fight this battle by praising your way into victory. I want you to put behind you everything that you might have gone through. And just look ahead to the word that God has given you, the promise of a glorious 2019. And praise God as you continue to stretch to receive that promise and see it come to pass in your life in the name of Jesus. So I need you to praise your way into victory. In the midst of a storm, I want you to praise God and hold on to the prophecies that have gone ahead of you. That is the critical thing that you must do at every single point in time. If somebody says, okay, well, so I don't have a word that I'm holding on to. There is no prophecy. God has not spoken to me. I'm just living my life by myself, but things are just not okay. It's all right. But let me remind you, if you're a member of the Elevation Church or affiliated to us in any way, at the beginning of this year, God gave us a word. And what did he say? He said he would help us marvelously. He said you will be marvelously helped. That is the word that you have, that even if you don't have the reality of working in it, I want you to hold it and begin to chase it for the rest of the year. And I want you to celebrate God because he will bring it to pass in your life in the name of Jesus. There will be battles along the line, but the way to fight the battle is to dance your way, to sing your way, to celebrate your way into victory. And you will see that come to pass in your life in the name of Jesus. I mean, somebody may be sitting there and saying, look, Pastor you have come again. You've taken one story in the scripture, you're generalizing it and saying, I, I, my name is not Paul, I am not Silas. God did this sort of things multiple times as recorded in scripture. Second Chronicles chapter 20, it spoke about the children of Israel when they had a challenge. Second Samuel chapter 6, there's a story there about King David and the entire children of Israel. Again, praising God when it didn't look like they should be praising God. And so, this morning, this morning, when we start, I don't want you to stop. You don't want to be an onlooker. You want to participate and do your dance very excitedly, believing and knowing that God he has gone ahead of you, knowing that God is surrounding you. He is the God of your victory. He is the God of the promise. He is the God of the journey. He is the God of the prophecy. He is the one who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think, and he will show up in the name of Jesus. Where we are is first quarter of the year. Second quarter is coming. Third quarter is coming. Fourth quarter is coming. Your story has not ended in the name of Jesus. We're not even at half time yet, so celebrate your victory. You see, praise is like a triangle. There is praising God for what has gone in the past. There is praising him for where we are right now, whatever it looks like. And then there is praising him for what is coming. There is praising him for what he has done. There is praising him for what he is doing. There is praising him for what he will do. There is praising him for what you have. For what you had, what you have, and what you will have. So follow that triangle of praise. And at every single point in time, there is a reason for you to rise on your feet and to celebrate God. Hallelujah. So, so don't let circumstances overwhelm you. Don't let your circumstances limit you. Your circumstance may be a very terrible looking circumstance. It's okay. Praise God for it. Your circumstance may be that you are in a place that you have enjoyed the favor of God beyond your imagination. 
it's okay. It's still a small place compared to what God is able to do. So praise him. Your circumstance may be like that brother, 8th of March, 8 a.m. or 6 a.m., whatever time he woke up, bank balance, 0, 0, 0, 0. At, at some point, he said in the, at some point in the course of the day, somebody sent him enough money just to buy a cake, right? Again, if you are at the point where your story is, somebody gave me money to buy a cake, it's okay. Rejoice and celebrate God. If you are at the point that looks like the first point where he got the first job, and they had given him just the 90%, okay? And he hadn't even done the job, celebrate God and praise him because more is coming. If you're at the point where it looks like you have gotten the second job and you're feeling very, you're beginning to feel cool with yourself, all right? Again, praise God because you are grateful. Show him gratitude, but also praise him because there is more coming in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, so God is the one fighting our battles and he's organizing massive victories. The only thing you have to do is to believe him and to celebrate Somebody says that is a very ridiculous fighting strategy. It's okay. When the kingdom of God, things are supernatural, and this is our strategy. This is how we fight our battles. This is how we fight our battles. It may look like you're surrounded. Things are not going to change. It may look like you're in the prison, but it's okay. This is how we fight our battles. And this is how you will fight your battles from April to May to June to the end of this year in the name of Jesus. Because the victory is coming. Because the God of the journey is with you and is doing incredible things with you and for you for the rest of the year in the name of Jesus. So rejoice in anticipation of the things that God has done and the things that he will do because he has promised. And you see, God never writes a check that bounces. He never does it. He's always good for the credit. His account is always funded. So if he gave you the promise at the beginning of the year, it will make it to come to pass in the name of Jesus. You can rely on it. You can trust him. Just do your own part. Don't be gloomy. Don't walk in offense towards God. Don't be offended. Don't be upset. Every time you are tempted to think that, I am no longer talking to God or serving God. I'm going to do any other thing that people do other than serving God. Just remember that Paul and Silas could have done the same. But they chose instead to celebrate the victory of God in the name of Jesus. Celebrate what God has done for you. And if you think you don't have anything to celebrate for yourself, it's okay. Find a friend, a neighbor, anybody. Celebrate what God has done for them. Because the God who did it for them is able to do it for you as well. Because their own, man, their own testimony is your prophecy. It is the proof of what God can do on your behalf. So if you think you have no reason, if you think you need a reason, and you can't find a reason to celebrate God, just celebrate God for what he did for Brother Lincoln, because he's able to multiply it in your lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So God is the God of our journey. You have to praise him exuberantly. Praise him with your emotions. Praise him with your words. Praise him with your actions. Praise him with your substance. Just let loose and dance. Hallelujah. Just let loose and dance. You can praise God every time. Don't limit it to what you're going to do in the next 15, 20 minutes. You're taking your praise home with you this morning. Because all through this quarter, God is giving you reasons to rejoice in the name of Jesus. And this is not motivational speaking. It is a promise, a sure word of prophecy. Because God has told us this year, it will help us marvelously. Can you rise up on your feet this morning? You may have battles to fight, but this is how we fight our battles. Hallelujah. We're fighting this battle by dancing. We're fighting it through rejoicing. The things that seem to be contending with you. You know, if you read the story in Acts chapter 16. So they threw Paul and Silas into prison. But there were other people there who, because Paul and Silas was, were there, God showed up on their behalf. These other people became beneficiaries of the goodness of God. That is your story in the name of Jesus. When God begins to show up for you from now to the end of this year, 
other people will benefit from it in the name of Jesus. The kind of the goodness of God that you will encounter will be beyond what you can consume all by yourself. Other people will be beneficiaries in the name of Jesus. All right, so Psalm 49. I want us to have an agreement this morning. Let me paint a picture for you. Let me paint a picture to you how we're going to be celebrating God this morning. Psalm 149. Can I have it on the screen? Psalm 149. Hallelujah. All right, so Psalm 149. The Bible says, let's read it together. It says, praise to the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. And his praise in the assembly of his saints. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name with the dance. Did you hear? Let them praise his name with the dance. Let them, pray, let them sing praises to him with a timbrel and harp. Whatever musical instrument, if you don't have one, just use your hands this morning. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. Hallelujah. So that is what I wanted to do this morning. That's how I wanted to praise God this morning, to dance, to sing, to jump. If you don't have enough space around you, it's okay. You can go to the gallery. If the person sitting next to you is disturbing you, you can come to the front of the stage, all right? So, so, hallelujah. <laughs> all right, so this morning, I want you to put your hands together as we receive the ministry of Minister Mike Abdul, one of Nigeria's finest. He's going to be leading us this morning as we give God praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm a shine. 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 Listen, we belong to a kingdom where we call those things that are not like they were. Child. You know, the Bible says of us. That as long as you belong to this kingdom, you will say to the mountain, Be thou removed and be cast into the middle of the sea. And it says that if you have no doubt and you believe, you would have what you say. Do me a favor, you walk up to 10 people, announce to them, I'm gonna shine. I'm gonna shine. I'm gonna shine. I will call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? Who is worthy to be praised? Let's go, let's go. You say, So shall I. The Lord. Blessed be He. Let the rock of my salvation. The Lord, oh, blessed be He. Oh, yeah. What the Lord has done for me, for me, say. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell you. What the Lord has done, I cannot tell you. So I can shout, so I can shout, 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 Nothing can exceed it. This grace is extreme. Oh. Timeless rock of ages. Endless stream of life. Send on me be this. Who do me like this? So, oh. where them there? Where them there? After you is you. Mighty God, so true. After you, no alternative. No alternative. After you is you, mighty God so true. After you, now you, no alternative. After you, Google is you, mighty God so true. After you is you, hey, I never see any God like I never. 
Sun. Nobody helps you like the moon. You are the author and the builder. You are the one that brings to life. I'm a mama, see, I'm a What you do is good. I'm far and omega. Salabafi, always out. Where them day, where them day. I'll tell you, it's you. Mighty God, so true. After you, no alternative, no alternative. After you is you, mighty God so true. After you, now you, no alternative. After you is you, mighty God so true. After you is you, echo we talk to me, echo we talk to me. 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 Echo we to me. He talk to me. Echo we talk to me. Mora nomba. You ain't want to live us up. Oh, but let time go, yes. Oh, this what you gonna do? I'm gonna do. What you gonna do? I'm gonna do. Life is beautiful. It's okay, Jesus. I am in the No more trouble, no more sorrow. I don't go back, I don't go
somebody scream! <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, 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 oh. oh my God! Oh, That's what you tell me. Oh, my God! Oh, 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 oh. oh my God! Oh. Let's go! Oh, oh my, my God. God! Thank you for today. Thank you for this day. Thank you for your grace. Oh, back at the back in the city of our land. I see what you want to go. Let's go! Let's go! See my life, oh. Lord, I'm grateful, my testimony, by your grace. For oh, when in it, I can't walk on it, oh. I don't know me, my comfort, oh, oh, oh. Mori le, mori le, mori le, gao, say. Mori le, mori le, mori le, mori le, mori le, mori le, Everybody, 
In that I did they say this way ni bata Umwa fwa wan boje Meaning that when your yam is done and ready to be eaten You will use your hand to cover Eat, hide, so that your enemies will not see But my Bible tells me of you That your God shall prepare a table before you Do your hand like this, do your hand like this. Praise the heart, let them hear. Anytime they say, let us go. 
to the house of the Lord. What do you mean, who? What do you mean, Scott? What do you mean, Lago? What do you mean, Lago? Glory to my God in the highest Hallelujah, Meta Oto. Hallelujah, Meta Oto. You say, Hallelujah, Meta Oto. Oh, say, Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, 30 billion, Hallelujah. 30 billion, Hallelujah. Oh. 30 billion, Hallelujah. 30 billion, Hallelujah. That's it, Billion, hallelujah. Well, let's go. Hallelujah. Can I hear you say? 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 One, let go. Two, let go. Three, let go. Four, let go. Oh, yeah, five, let go. Six, let go. Seven, let's go. Eight, let's go. Nine, let go. Say, can I see everyone? Hey! Hey! Twelve, let go. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Can I see your way to this? Twenty-one, let's go. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. My hallelujah belongs 
to you. I need someone who is grateful. Lift us and say, My hallelujah belongs to you. Jesus, you've been faithful. We are grateful. Hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. If it had not been for you who has been consistently on our side. My hey. hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. Say. You deserve it. your two hands to him all over this place everyone joining us online if the Lord deserves your hallelujah this morning if you are not too dignified to remember his goodness his faithfulness his loving kindness and his favor over your life and your family then you lift your two hands to him this morning and bless the name of Jesus if truly he deserves it let him know he deserves it let him know he deserves it Lord, we declare this morning that you're worthy of our praise and our thanksgiving. We are not qualified for your favor, neither are we qualified for grace. Jesus, we celebrate you as a giver of grace today. And on behalf of every family, every business, every career, everyone young and old present here today, connected to this service online, we are declaring that you deserve our praise, you deserve our shout, you deserve our dance, you deserve our energy. We can't over dignify ourselves for your praise. You deserve it. The God of Israel, Jehovah is your name. We lift your name high in this place today. The Elevation Church is grateful. For all that you do in our midst, you deserve our praise. You deserve our thanksgiving today. Come on, somebody lift those two hands to him if you have two hands. Wave them to him all over this place. If he deserves your praise, let him know today. We're grateful, 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 we are grateful. We are grateful, Father. We are grateful. We are grateful. And Lord, we declare today that it's all about you. It's all about you. You said we should praise you in any way that we can. With instrument, with our shout, with our dance, with everything. And Lord, we are tempted it today. And we ask that you make this acceptable to you. We ask that you receive our act of faith. 
in praise and in thanksgiving. Let your presence be multiplied over every life here present. Everyone joining this service online. Everyone who will watch this after now. As they watch, let it not just be about the excitement. Let it exude your presence. Let your presence come upon every life. Let marriages be turned around. Let emotions be turned around. Your word says you give beauty for ashes and the oil of joy for mourning and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. So we arrest every heaviness. We arrest the oppressions of the spirit of heaviness. We bind depression and we command you to go in the name of Jesus. We command a release of the oil of joy. All through this month and this new quarter, Joy will not cease from your home. Joy will not cease from your business. In the name of Jesus, the God that you have praised this morning shows up in all the affairs of your life. Wherever your name, your business name is mentioned, God will show up for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, you said, let the people praise you. Let the people praise you. He said, then the heart will yield an increase. And the Lord our God will bless us. Lord, we ask, let the heart heal our increase for us. Let the result of the next quarter surpass the result of the last quarter. Where there has been stagnation, we break the hold of stagnation today. We declare forward movement. By the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare forward movement. In the name of Jesus, where there has been dryness, we terminate the hold of dryness. Your word says that you, you, you cause your rain to be upon our land in due season. Make this new quarter a due season for someone to enjoy flourishing. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let the promises of your word come to pass in every life. Lord, it's your faithfulness that we are celebrating today. Because you remain faithful all of the time. And we give you all the glory and all the praise. We bless your name, Jesus. Now, I have this word for someone here. This praise of this morning. What comes to mind is 1 John chapter 4 and verse 18. The Bible says there's no fear in love. It's a perfect love cast out fear. And there's someone this morning battling with a fear of evil. You've just been afraid of evil. Maybe you are even under a threat. Someone issued a threat or anything like that. But you're afraid of evil. You're afraid of evil people. And you're afraid of evil occurrences. And it's limiting your aspiration. God told me to tell you today, because you are here to participate in this place, that hold of that fear of evil is broken over your life. In the book of Psalms, it says, It prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He anoints my head with oil and my cup runs over. I receive over you this morning a fresh anointing. Everything that God is doing in your life, in spite of any constituted enemy, real or imagined, you will triumph. No evil is permitted to come near you. No plague is permitted to come near your dwelling, near your business, near your career. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The days of this next three months, this new quarter, celebration upon celebration, increase upon increase. You are blessed in your going out and you are blessed in your coming in. My God will preserve your soul. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. It will restore you. It will preserve you. You will not be cut short in the midst of your days. With long life, it will satisfy you and show you his salvation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I want somebody to listen to this. Someone with a medical report. 
that is a threat to your joy because it's negative. When we praise God like this and throw caution to the wind, we're not just being crazy. Yeah. David praised God like this in 1 Samuel chapter 6. Micah, his wife, the daughter of Saul, the king, looked at David and said, how undignified I, were you today? He said, you exposed yourself. You just, you, you, you took. And David only said, while I was small in my own eyes, God lifted me. Why would I praise him? And he saw your father and detroyed your father and put me there. Why would I praise him? David did not say more than that. But the young lady, Mika, who criticized David's praise. The Bible only put it there. Look at the last verse of First Samuel 6. He said, she never had a child all the days of her life. Uh, David didn't curse her. Nobody cursed her. I asked myself the question. The Bible only knows, and if I was asking myself, uh, is there a connection between her action and her barrenness? The Bible never said anything. It just dropped a hint for us. Anytime you hear that we're singing and dancing the praise of our God, make sure you have the right attitude. Yeah, make sure you have the right attitude. Yeah, make sure you have the right attitude. I salute the courage of some of our grandmas and grandpas who are here to celebrate with us today. Who were able to do the jig with us. May the Lord renew your youth. Like the eagles in the name of Jesus. And it will satisfy you with long life. You will not spend your old age in pain. In the name of Jesus. God deserves our praise all of the time. Because it's the only one that is worthy. Only one that is worthy. You know somebody here. If they say you should dance like this to get a contract, and the CEO is sitting there and say, be dancing, you'll be dancing without music. Now we provided music, we brought Mike Abdu, and as you looking straight, the Lord help you. In the name of Jesus. But I don't want to forget that word. I want somebody to note it down. No more fear. Tell your neighbor, say no more fear. Tell somebody again, say no more fear. God said it's breaking the hold of fear in somebody's life. So that medical report, when you look at it again, you smile, you no longer cry. Because the fear of death is broken. You will not die before your time. In the name of the Lord Jesus, my God is turning every medical situation around. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Someone listen to me right now. It's not you. It's your child. And God said, what I say to one, I say to all. So appropriate this word in the life of your child. Because all through the month of April, so you sing and rejoice and dance over that child and see me turn that situation around. And I'm expecting to put your testimony on this screen. Somebody who believes, shout they believe in amen. Shout a stronger amen. And if you are blessed this morning, put your hands together and celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Please have your seat. Have your seat. Glory be to Jesus. And you know, not many people do this praise and dance thing, especially in that hilarious manner, like Mike Abdul. Can we please appreciate him? Please appreciate him. What a gift. What a gift. What a gift. Some people who are talented and gifted like this only use it to praise the devil and to cause people to sin. But he uses his own gift to cause people to give praise to God. Glory be to Jesus. Yeah? And we, when we see that, we should appreciate it. Praise God. I want you to let me look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, the heavens are open over your life. It's a new season. Tell your neighbor, I hear the sound of abundance of rain. Over your life. No more dryness. Tell somebody, I say, no more dryness. In the name of Jesus. 
Before we will bring the service to a close in, the, in a few minutes, will you do me the honor of just bowing, bowing down your head just for a minute so that I can say a prayer and we uh, uh, make the atmosphere conducive for anyone who is yet to embrace Jesus as Lord and Savior. In the midst of all the praise and thanksgiving, you need to reflect on your life and know and acknowledge whether you are Jesus is truly living in your heart and you need to invite him at this time. And I want to give some people the opportunity to do so. This is just two minutes, two minutes of our time. You're far away from God. You're not sure that if Christ comes today, you will say, well done, good and faithful servant. There's no relationship. Jesus says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. He said, I will give you rest. Rest is here. This is the place of peace when you choose to embrace Christ. Maybe you said this prayer before, but you backslid into sin. I love for everyone to be still at this time. Or shall I please shut the door? Just two minutes, that's what I ask for. Except you are really pressed, then explain to them. But two minutes, two minutes. No more movement, please. Just two minutes. Yeah, just for the privacy of this moment, these decisions are very vital to people's destinies. And we need to respect that. Maybe you're far away from God. And you feel going into a new quarter, I need to do something differently. Maybe you said this prayer before, but you backslid into sin. And you want to say, God, I'm coming back home. And I want you to receive me. Or perhaps you've never said a prayer before to receive Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. This is your opportunity. This prayer is not a respecter of person. It's not about young or old. It's about a relationship with Jesus, so you come into a covenant with God. Jesus shed his blood when he hung on the cross of Calvary, that your sins may be redeemed and your life may be redeemed. There's nothing you can do to gain forgiveness outside of the acknowledgement of his lordship and his death and resurrection on the cross for you. I'd love to pray for anyone we're saying, Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me my sins. Give me a new beginning from this moment forward. Whether you're here live or you're online, I want you to join this prayer. Can I request that you lift your right hand above your head, wherever you may be. If you're online, go to the chat room. Let us know you're making a decision. If you're watching on YouTube, drop a comment for us. On Facebook, drop a comment for us. If you're on the streaming platform, go to the chat room so that someone can pray with you. If you're right here, can you lift your right hand up right now? And let's say a prayer together. Let's say a prayer together. Let's say prayer together. If you're not sure, you're not sure. There's no point in second guessing salvation. It's either it's there or it's not there. And it's better to be sure than to be sorry. Whether you're on the gallery or you're on the main floor, can I ask that you lift your right hand above your head and say this prayer with me. Just one more minute. If your hand is up, can you stand by your chair right there? Don't bother coming out. Just stand where you are. Stand with me and let's pray together so that I'll know you're praying with me. Thank you. Thank you. Just stand. Stand. Stand and let's say the prayer together. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, my brother. Just stand. Stand. Stand, stand. On the gallery, it's time to stand. Don't second guess your salvation. It's too risky. It's too risky. It's too risky. It's too risky. Jesus already paid the price and he said, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. He said, I will give you rest. This is the place of rest, a place of appointment with Jesus. So you stand right now and don't, don't leave anything to chance. Because as you make this decision today, Jesus will come into your heart and give you a new beginning. Thank you, everyone standing. If you're standing, I want you to say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today acknowledging that I'm a sinner and I need a savior. I cannot save myself. And I've come today to receive you as my Lord and my personal savior. I ask that you forgive me my sins and cleanse me from every unrighteousness. Fill my heart with your spirit and give me a new beginning from this moment forward. Thank you for accepting me. If you're standing and saying this prayer with me, I want you to look to your left or your right, our counselors are there. If you don't mind, can you please just follow them just for five minutes, just five minutes of your time and you'll be back with us. Just pick whatever you brought to church and follow the counselor, just five minutes and you'll be back with us in the service. I want you to do that quickly, 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 just, just to be able to follow up properly with your decision today. Praise God. Let's appreciate everyone making a decision. It takes courage to follow Jesus. It takes a, a lot of courage to make a decision for Christ. One more time, can we appreciate everyone who just made a decision? Praise God. 
All right, for everyone who made a decision today as a responsible church, we want to be a part of your spiritual development. So if you avail us the opportunity, our counselors will speak to you and pick your details, and they will introduce you to our, our faith development classes that we believe will be a blessing to you. We also just launched um, a 31-day special devotional uh, for new converts. Yeah, can, I, can, can I get a copy of that? Yeah, that's exclusive to the Elevation Church. Praise God. Yeah. And so there's a new, new believers devotional. We believe that if you follow this for 31 days, you'll be rooted and grounded, especially also adding our faith development classes to that. We don't want to raise rogue believers who confess Christ with mouth and have no character. And to be rooted in Christ, you have to be a lover of his word. And you have to love him from your heart. And that's what this will do for you. I want to appreciate the members of our maturity and discipleship team who came up with this. Thank you very much, led by Pastor Joy Issa here. Uh, so, New Believers Devotional, now available for all new believers at the Elevation Church for free. It's free. <laughs> Completely free. So, even if you made a decision outside of our church, maybe the last six months or so, and you want to just get stronger in your faith and strong, rooted more, this is available for you for free. You just contact the, the maturity and discipleship team. They will get one across to you. It's available for free for every new believer who wants to be rooted in Christ. And when people give their life to Christ and go out like that, now they will have the opportunity of grabbing a copy of this, and the ones who don't have a Bible can also get a Bible. Praise God. I said praise God. So we'll continue to improve on it and reveal it from time to time and add more. It has confessions of God's word at the back of it that makes you stronger. Stronger in health, stronger in faith, stronger in, in holiness, all that at the back after the 31-day devotional. So the confessions of God's word that you can take on a daily basis, even as you go through the devotional. Uh, and I pray that this uh, devotional will continue to be a blessing in Jesus' name. Say better, amen. amen. All right, uh, we want to give to God. It's our custom to give to God every time we gather together at the Elevation Church. Uh, I want you to package your offerings, your tithes, whatever you brought to church today to give to God. And I want to encourage someone who still struggle uh, to decide whether to, to tie it or not, and you are under that uh, old covenant, new covenant kind of thing, uh, to wake up to your responsibility. Um, I love the way someone described it. He said, when, when I was growing up, my dad would tell me, if you cross the road without looking left and right, I'm going to beat you. He said, now I'm an adult. I'm no longer under the threat of my father. I'm under the new covenant. But I still know that looking left and right before I cross the road is to my advantage. There's no doubt to threaten me like God threatened in the Old Testament. But looking left and right is to my advantage, so I still do it. I hope somebody's understanding what I'm saying today. Yeah. So that's the kind of understanding that we have about giving to God and about tithing. It's not about old or new covenant. It's about honoring God. Yeah. And when we choose to honor God with our substance, it's not because we're under compulsion or God is going to kill us or curse us if we don't do it. It's just because it's the right thing to do and it's safe for us to do it and we plug into the goodness and the mercy of God as we do it. And we plug into his favor as we do it. Yeah. We're adults who can make our decision. We're not under any compulsion. But we make the right decisions. Is somebody still here with me today? I said, are you still here? I think I just said that because of someone. Maybe you are new in our church and I need to say that to you so you understand... Uh, uh, when we ask for people to give. Praise God. All right, uh, if you are redeeming a pledge, please let us know it's a pledge, maybe to any of our ministry partnership uh, drive uh, for church planting, for TV ministry, and different other things that we give to for the Pieces Foundation and all that. So let us know that you are redeeming a pledge if you have. There are many electronic platforms with which we give at the Elevation Church. We're working to increase that so that we can make it a lot easier for you. Like I said in the first service, we are totally for cashless Nigeria, all right? Yeah. Some of us, what we do now, we try to do automated, just, I mean, there's no point struggling. Use technology. Somebody say technology. Yeah, use technology. Yeah. Uh, it's olden days that you bring big envelope to church, or Ghana must go, for everybody to see that. Go. Mm -mm. So tell your neighbor, say, transfer it. Say, wire it. Say, everyone loves wiring. Yeah, because even God uses, you know, spiritual means to bless us. The Bible says Christ has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Uh, 
Because it's spiritual, you get it by wire. Yeah, in the spirit. Praise God. <laughs> I said, praise God. Are we ready to give to God this morning? We have uh, the, all, all the platforms shown on the screen, and then we have uh, POS stands at the back of the auditorium in the middle, somewhere there. You can, and if you're on the gallery, you can use the POS stand on the gallery to use your card to give to God today. Make sure you label the envelope with accurate information if you're giving check or cash. Uh, and if you're online, please do the same. Join us as we give. Can we pray? If you're giving electronically, just lift your right hand up to Jesus as we, as we bless his name today. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to give to you today. We speak a blessing over every giver, and we ask, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. Let the heavens open over every giver. Honor everyone stretching to honor you with a tithe. We thank you for April that is progressive, that is profitable, and that is blessed. We well, thank you because the result of this quarter two will be greater than quarter one for us. Thank you, Father, for divine protection, for things that money can buy and things money cannot buy. Do it that your name may be glorified in Jesus' precious name. Say it better, amen. amen. All right. Our ushers will move around to take the offerings from us, and as we do that right now, just before we bring the service to a close, I'd love to appreciate and welcome everyone joining us at the Elevation Church for the first time this first Sunday in the month of April. Uh, maybe you came to celebrate with the family or you just uh, heard about uh, prayer service and decided to come. We just want to appreciate you before you go. We have a small gift that we want to put in your hand. If you don't mind, can you wave your hands? My first time at the Elevation Church. Anyone at all? Please, can you stand? Can you stand? If you don't mind, can you stand? Let's keep clapping as our guests will stand. Let's keep clapping as our guests will stand. People are standing all around the auditorium. Let's keep clapping. If anyone is standing around you, make sure you shake hands with them and welcome them to church today. Our hospitality team would love to put a gift bag in, all, in the hand of all of our guests. Please, all of our guests, make sure you get a gift bag before you take your seat. Make sure you get a gift bag before you take your seat. If you have a gift bag, you may please have your seat. You may please have your seat if you have a gift bag uh, from our officials. One more time, can we appreciate all of our guests? Can we appreciate our guests? Thank you very, very much for making time out to be a part of our service today. Like I said, if you have a gift bag from our officials, you may please have your seat. If you're yet to get one, please sit and just wave your hand. They will get one across to you. Uh, ushers, there are quite a number of people around here who are yet to get a gift bag. Can we signal the hospitality team members uh, to, to get one across here? Praise God. I said, Praise God. All right. Uh, Pastor TJ, the, the people here, I don't see anybody responding. Can you wave your hand, sir? Yeah, it's yet to get one. And there may be one or two other people. Can we? Uh, okay. Praise God. All right. For all of our guests, I'd love for you to look into the guest welcome pack. Uh, that were provided for you, the, the gift bag and the uh, pick up a card uh, that, that is there. There's a, a pen attached to that card with which you can fill the card with accurate information. So I wanted to pick up that card, fill it with accurate information. We'd love to keep in touch with you, send you some more information about our church and also invite you to subsequent events of the Elevation Church that we believe will be a blessing to you. Uh, so if you don't have a local church that you attend or you're just in transition, we'd like for you to prayerfully consider making the Elevation Church your home church. Our mission as a church is to make greatness common. We believe that in every man and every woman is the seed of greatness that God has planted. Greatness for us is service, service to God and service to humanity. We believe that a life well spent is a life of service. And God has given us, all of us, something with which to serve. Uh, this church seeks to provide the conducive environment for everyone to discover their gift and serve with their gift, uh, make impact and turn our world around. So if you uh, make a choice to continue to come here, we believe that the grace that we enjoy here will rub off on you, and greatness will evolve in you in a new dimension. And according to the prayer of the psalmist, thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. That will be your testimony in Jesus' precious name. Somebody say it better, amen. amen. The moment the service is over, we have a five minutes guest welcome reception. We have a light refreshment for all of our guests. And I know that uh, for some of us, we have big parties out there later today. Maybe you're going for, uh, with a family for dedication. We just want to show you uh, Elevation Church Hospitality. What we have to offer is just a light refreshment. We want you to take it in love and please join us. It's not about a refreshment. It's about the fact that you honor us enough to hang out with us just for five minutes before you go. 
Uh, one of our ministers will be at the back there under the gallery. If you're in the gallery, please come down to under the gallery. We'll have a guest welcome lounge under the gallery, uh, you know, just straight ahead of me here. If you're on the main floor, please don't walk out. Just go straight to the back, uh, five minutes of your time, uh, and we'll send you on your way. It's just to say a blessing over you, a special blessing, and then we'll serve you a light refreshment that you can take there or take with you as you go. Uh, again, we thank you very, very much for coming. Please fill the card with accurate information. Give it to our officials before you go today. It gives us the opportunity of making friends with you. Uh, whether you're coming back here or not, we're connected. And you can always know what's going on at the Elevation Church and uh, make decisions about a special event that you can attend. We also have uh, spiritually nourishing materials that we distribute online that we'll be able to forward to you from time to time uh, for your spiritual nourishment. So please uh, make it a date with us. Drop the card before you go and attend the guest welcome reception. And God will bless you as you do so in Jesus' precious name. Uh, somebody say better. Amen. Amen. All right, one or two announcements will bring the service to a close. Um, if you missed the membership class that started yesterday, uh, every first Saturday of the month, please prepare for the next one. And you can also join the second half of the uh, alternative membership class, which holds on Sundays during the second service like this, next Sunday. So if you send us an email or get to the information center, we will give you more information about that. We want people not just to attend the Elevation Church, but to be a part of the family and to position to be used of God. And the doorway into that is just to be a part of our one-time membership class. It's just a one-session membership class. But if you do the Sunday one, it's two, two sessions, first Sunday and second Sunday. If you do the Saturday, just first Saturday of the month, 8 to 12, you're done with our membership class. And then the doorway uh, to vitally connect with the vision of the Elevation Church and serve with us is open at any level. Praise God. I said praise God. So please put that at the back of your mind. That is something that is pending. If you're yet to do that, please plan to do it. Uh, maybe next uh, month, first Saturday in the month of May, or join next Sunday uh, during the second service. That means you have to come for first service and do that during the second service. And uh, the, the pastor in charge, Pastor Sheon, will work out how you can do a makeup with you. Praise God. Uh, lastly, the career fair, which uh, we announced earlier on, holds this Saturday, the 13th of April. Uh, we have partnerships with organizations, some of them multinational organizations. Uh, our career fair has uh, the record of getting people the right placement, the right jobs, and enlightening them. So this is not for entry-level people or people who are out of job alone. This is for people who want to make career progress. So 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. this Saturday, right here, it's going to be a big fair. I want you to be a part of it. I know some of us may have weddings. Eat the rice quickly. Still join at 12 noon, all right? Uh, you, you can, you, the kingdom of God is not about eating and drinking. <laughs> That's what the scripture says. Uh, so still come anyway. Be a part of it. Um, go through the civic clinic. Go through, there will be many things going on that you can plug into. And if you want to be a part of it, maybe at the level of facilitation or your organization wants to partner with us, you can still reach out uh, to Career uh, Pro at elevationng.org, send us an email, and we will be able to reach out to you and have a discussion with you. Praise God. I said praise God. Have you had a great time in this service? Are you sure God is going with you as you go? Somebody who is sure say a big amen. I pray that the blessing of God rests upon you, Amen. that God shines his, the light of his countenance upon you, Amen. that his grace sustains you Amen. and is multiplied over your life. Favor upon, upon favor, grace upon grace, blessings upon blessings. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. I will receive uh, uh, Brother Tuesh Oladoe as he leads us in the benediction. Can you please stand? God bless you. Hallelujah. Um, I pray that you walk in the victory that you have received as you worship God today in Jesus' name. Uh, we take our closing charge from Psalm 1, verses 1 to 3. Uh, before then, our first time guest, please be reminded to join us at the guest welcome reception at the back of the auditorium under the gallery. Just five minutes of your time. All right, let's take our closing charge, Psalm 1, verses 1 to 3. 1, 2, let's go. Blessed am I, for I walk not in the counsel of the ungodly nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of discomfort. But my delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law I meditate day and night. I'm like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I bring forth my fruit in my season, 
my leave also shall not wither, and whatsoever I do prospers. Prosper exceedingly in Jesus' name.